Chapter 1341 Master Long Translator Born to be within a private room, Zhuo Xiangxiang looked at the scene recorded in a photographic jade. This scene was of Long Chen fighting fiercely in the Divine Pill Pavilion. Good, that's about enough. The seed of hatred has been planted, and there's basically no chance of Long San joining the other side. That's the only way we can put him in an important position. Zhuo Xiangxiang nodded his head. Yangsu, Kondongs, the two of you go bring Long San out. Now's the best time to win his heart. Other than Zhuo Xiangxiang, there were two other people in this private room. One was a gorgeous young woman with a beauty mark between her long eyebrows. She had phoenix eyes, and her chin was slightly sharp. The feeling she gave off was the opposite of the pill fairy's friendly air. Beside her was a tall, lanky man. They both had fierce flame fluctuations around them. Although they weren't releasing those intentionally, they still gave off immense pressure. The woman's name was Dan Yangsu, while the man's name was Kan Dongs. Both of them were ranked 9 celestials with outstanding alchemy arts. They were the leaders of the Divine Spear Alliance. Dan Yangsu asked, This Long San is just a brutish man. Is it worth it for us to personally win him over? Her tone was arrogant, and she clearly looked down on Long San. She wasn't willing to lower her position to pull him in. His spiritual strength has gone through a mutation. While you are at the Jade Core Realm, his spiritual strength is already a match for yours at the Foundation Forging Realm. We've already done a series of observations of him and didn't find any problems. We can pull him into our faction, said Zhuo Xiangxiang. Fine. Dan Yangsu agreed, but her agreement was a bit forced. As for Kondongs, he didn't say a word. Pill Valley's prison was located 3,000 meters underground. Only disciples that had violated the rules would be imprisoned here to reflect upon themselves. Dan Yangsu and Kan Dongs were walking side by side. Kan Dongs lightly said, With the Divine Shield Alliance's methods, this Long San is definitely locked in the delinquent room. He's going to be half dead by the time we get there. It's going to be a headache for us to bring him out like that. If this Long San isn't as useful as Protectors Huo says he is, I'm definitely going to kill him. I seen as flashed in Dan Yangsu's eyes. This is it. They walked to the end of the passageway. An iron door was in front of them. This was the delinquent room, a place for disciples that were too warlike. Disciples that had broken the rules were tossed into prison and divided based on what rules they broke. As for the fellows who liked to be berserk and fight. They would all be lumped together so that they could beat each other. But when they arrived at the door, they didn't hear any screams or cursing. Instead, it was strangely quiet. What's going on? Could they have beaten each other to death? Kondongs was startled. He slowly took out a key and unlocked it. Then he heard a sound come from inside. Master Long, is this hard enough? Asked a fawning voice. Pow. A slapping sound rang out and a voice raged. Did you not eat? Use some force. Yes. This little one will work harder. That voice was full of terror. The iron door was slowly pushed open by Kondongs, and a dense smell of blood flooded out. When they saw the situation in the delinquent room, Kondongs and Dan Yangsu could only stare. There were over ten people that had been beaten into the walls. Their shoulders and thighs all stabbed through, and the things stabbing them were the bones of their arms and lower legs. Those people were all terrified their mouths stuffed with shoes. They didn't dare to make the slightest noise. Seeing Dan Yangsu and Kan Dongs walk in, those delinquents were so grateful that tears streamed down their faces. It was like they had seen their saviors. Four people were kneeling on the ground, a wooden bed on their shoulders. One person was lying on it, with a group of men carefully serving him. Two of them were massaging his feet. Two of them were beating his legs with their fists. One was combing his hair and the last one was even treating his nails. A hand suddenly slapped across one of their faces. That was because that person had accidentally made a hair snap while combing it. To the side, there were two people holding fans nervously waving them. They were being even more careful than palace eunuchs treating the emperor. Long San, Kondongs and Dan Yangsu exchanged a glance, both seeing each other's shock. Kondongs was the one who opened his mouth. Yes. Master Long San was in the midst of enjoying himself when he heard someone call his name. He opened an eye slightly and saw that new people had come. You are. Long Chen sat up. 
and the people attending him immediately stood to the side, standing like wooden stakes, afraid of even moving. I am Khan Dongs, and this is our Divine Spear Alliance's leader, Dan Yangsu. We came to bring you out. Haha, <laughs> I can leave? Amazing. Hey, idiot, I'm leaving. Aren't you going to hurry up and put on my shoes? Long Chen suddenly slapped a person across the face. Only then did these people react. They hastily put Long Chen's shoes and robes on him. All of them excited. It was like the one being released from prison wasn't Long Chen, but them. Kan Dongs looked at the situation and seemed to understand something, but he didn't say anything. He felt like this Long San definitely wasn't ordinary. Pow. Long Chen slapped another person across the face and raged. I'm leaving. It's a good thing. So why are you crying? We, we, we don't want to part with Master Long. That person looked like he was finally sending off a Yama King, and was so emotional that tears streamed down his face. Right now, he could only make such an excuse. Not bad. Master Long didn't teach you for nothing. I should stay here for a couple more days before leaving. Long Chen nodded acting emotionally as well. No, Master Long, this place is dirty and smelly, completely unsuitable for your grand existence. We will respectfully send you off. All the men knelt on the ground. When Long Chen had been sent to the delinquent room, he had understood a principle. If he wanted to show off, then he had to cause as much trouble as possible. As long as he could show off his value, then the more trouble he caused, the more highly he would be viewed. As a result, these delinquents that had intentionally been arranged to come here to beat him all ended up miserable. Compared to Long Chen, they were nothing more than sheep. After exiting the prison and smelling the fresh air, Long Chen immediately took a deep breath. Many thanks. Long San will remember this favor. If either of you need anything, just ask and I will do my best, said Long Chen. Although he knew the two of them had come just to make him indebted to them. This was still something that he needed to follow through with. At least acting grateful was a must. There's no need to be this formal. We're all on the same side. I still have things to do. So I'm leaving. Kan Dongs will tell you what you should do. Dan Yangsu was as icy as ever. And she left. Kan Dongs smiled helplessly. The Alliance Master. Well, she has a powerful status. So don't mind her. We naturally have to help each other out. So don't worry about this. Just continue showing your power. For example, what you did in the Divine Pill Pavilion. Protectors Huo always disliked your cowardly nature. So he has been secretly observing you. Your display today greatly satisfied him though. The two of us came to get you to express that you've already joined the core of the Divine Spear Alliance. And also to tell you that you don't need to have any misjivings. Within Pill Valley, there's nothing that we can't do. Even if you provoke a calamity, we can handle it. So, don't worry. Go ahead and provoke a calamity to prove your existence. Within the Divine Spear Alliance, there are two kinds of people that are the most useful. Those with great alchemy arts, and those that can cause trouble. The Divine Spear Alliance has plenty of people with great alchemy arts. But we're lacking geniuses who can cause trouble. That's all I have to say. You should understand what I mean. I'm also busy, so take care. Kan Dong's also left, leaving behind only Long Chen. How interesting. Long Chen had finally managed to probe Huo Shiang Xiang's goal. That wily old fox had still felt that he wasn't reliable enough and had been continuously testing him. Wasn't it just causing trouble? It just so happened that this was his specialty. But that bragging, wasn't that a bit too much? They could do anything within Pill Valley and even handle a calamity? What if the calamity was that he took away all of the Divine Pill Pavilion's earth flames? Through the battle in the Divine Pill Pavilion, Long Chen had truly shaken everyone. Now there were very few people who dared to directly provoke him. In fact, as long as anyone dared to mock him at all, he would directly punch them. Those disciples were now afraid of him. The disciples who thought that their fighting skills were pretty good were nothing in front of Long Chen. Long Chen also didn't use any techniques. It was like he didn't know how to fight at all and was just randomly swinging his arms. But because his fighting had no pattern, no one could block him. Sometimes when the power difference was extremely great, Long Chen would lose. Perhaps that was because the other side had too many people. 
but Long Chen never cared how many people were on the opposing side. Anyone who provoked him would be beaten by him. If others beat him, he would beat them back as well. There were several times where he had almost killed someone. Once, he caused the head of a disciple to explode. Fortunately, alchemists had powerful spiritual strength, so his soul wasn't destroyed. Using a medicinal pill, he gave birth to a new physical body. This was Pill Valley, so that was possible. But in any other sect, that person would have definitely died. His punishment for doing that had been to spend a few days as emperor within the delinquent prison before coming back out. During this time, he profoundly experienced just how important it was to have a powerful backer. In the blink of an eye, two months passed. The Divine Pill Hall's trial once more occurred. And this time, the trial was to refine a ninth-tier medicinal pill. With the Berserk Blood Flame's assistance, Long Chen refined a nine-ring pill, rising to rank 947th amongst the 3,000 disciples of the Divine Pill Hall. To ascend into the top thousand just two months after joining caused his name to shake the Divine Pill Hall. This speed was outstanding. The alchemy talent Long Chen had displayed had even shocked Suo Xiangxiang. He had originally thought Long Chen would need half a year to show any obvious improvement, but he had given him a pleasant surprise. However, at this time, an unexpected matter pushed Long Chen to the heart of their struggle. Chapter 1342 Sinister Scheming Translator Born to be Long San, you killed my brother. I challenge you to a life and death battle. Long Chen had just walked out of the Divine Pill Pavilion when a random disciple blocked his path with a sinister expression. Behind him were two people carrying a body. This person had insulted Duan Xiang Kiao yesterday while Long Chen had been chatting with her. He had said Duan Xiang Kiao was just a slut, causing her to cry. Thus, Long Chen had fiercely beaten that person until he no longer resembled a human. His injuries were extremely frightful, but he hadn't killed him. He had just made him suffer some pain. But now, that person's soul had dissipated, and he was clearly dead. That startled Long Chen, but he quickly thought of something. He wasn't dead yesterday. Him dying today has nothing to do with me, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen deduced that this disciple had been killed so that the other side could target him. That person's death gave the person in front of him an excuse to challenge him. The challenger was a rank 7 celestial at the Jade Core Realm. The flame fluctuations around him were extremely intense. It seemed that he was someone who had reached the end of his alchemy path and was preparing to switch to become a flame cultivator. Flame cultivators had terrifying power. Right now, Long Chen had only shown that he had a powerful physical body. But if he encountered a flame cultivator in a life and death battle, the little bit of power he had displayed was nothing. He would be killed in one blow. Clearly, Long Chen's existence was already a threat to the other side. They had sacrificed a disciple to get rid of him. HMPH. His death is because of the serious injuries you gave him. When we got back, his injuries worsened and suddenly erupted out of control. Do you think you can brush off your guilt with just a few words? What a joke. Long San. Chi Li was my life and death brother. Closer to me than a real brother. This enmity must be avenged by me. Luo Xiao. I've already applied for a life and death match. Just wait to pay with your life. That Luo Xiao sneered and looked at Long Chen like he was already dead. He then left with his people. How ridiculous. They were actually capable of using such a childish method. If they could get away with it, it would really be ridiculous. First of all, ignoring the fact that this disciple wasn't killed by Long Chen. Even if he was, he hadn't died at that time. And it was impossible to use this matter to punish Long Chen. Pill Valley had countless medicinal pills. As long as a person didn't immediately die, it would be difficult for them to die even if they wanted to. Furthermore, he had beaten him a whole day ago. Could it be that if he died ten years later, it would still be Long Chen's fault? This whole scheme was complete nonsense. No matter what they tried, Zhuo Xiangxiang's side had plenty of ways to show that there were holes in this plot. They would first demand an investigation and use all kinds of delaying tactics. And in the end, without enough proof, this matter would come to an end. Long Chen ignored him and returned to his room. On his way back, he hesitated for a moment. But in the end, 
he decided not to enter Duan Xiang Kiao's courtyard. He saw Duan Xiang Kiao quietly standing under a tree, lost in thought. He didn't know what she was thinking, but he didn't disturb her. He returned to his residence to study the magical arts he had learned in the past few days. The other side has made their way. What do you think? Zhuo Xiang Xiang was in a private room speaking to Dan Yangsu and Kan Dongs. It's just a childish trick of Jiang Zijin's. He's just a pretty face. Anyway, this matter won't cause any trouble for us. That Chi Li died only after returning. So trying to force the responsibility onto Long Chen is already very ridiculous. There's no need to bother with it. We can just stall until this matter is forgotten. Long Chen's potential is terrifying. And I feel like if we properly raise him, he'll become an excellent chess piece. We have to protect him, said Kan Dongs. Zhuo Xiang Xiang nodded with praise. Kan Dongs's way of handling things was very meticulous, and his observation skills were very sharp. I don't feel the same. I feel like this is a good chance to launch a vicious counterattack. We shouldn't protect Long San, but send him to go all out instead. Dan Yangsu shook her head. Oh? What do you mean? Asked Zhuo Xiang Xiang. We have myself and Dongs for alchemy geniuses, as well as our old team. That's already enough. We don't need to raise an alchemy genius, but a chess piece that can kill people and instantly break the balance. Dan Yangtze raised her eyebrows slightly, a cold light in her eyes. She continued, that Long San might possess strangely powerful spiritual strength, but his alchemy arts would need at least over a year to grow to the point that he can affect the balance that way. However, I feel like that's too slow. It's better to have a chess piece that has immediate use. You mean to? Kan Dongs was startled. Yes. Have you not noticed that Long San is just a country bumpkin? After receiving our grooming, his confidence has inflated to the point of arrogance. He'll beat whoever he wants. A bumpkin like him possesses an innate feeling of inferiority. Without anyone restraining him, he's already become brazen. Do you not see that when he looks at us? He might look respectful on the surface, but there's some barely concealed disdain in his eyes. It's like he feels that he'll be trampling over us at any time. He's already become bedeviled, said Dan Yangsu coldly. This really is the case. Long San has become insolent recently. I've already warned him subtly about it, but it seems that he can't understand, said Kan Dongs. Conflict after conflict, they had felt that Long San's arrogance had grown stronger. It seemed that he liked to show off, especially in front of everyone. It was very irritating. His current display was typical of a little person who achieved meteoric success. Zhuo Xiang Xiang could understand such a thing. After all, after being timid and suppressed for so long, Long San's resentment was finally being released. This display was very natural. They didn't know that Long Chen had intentionally displayed this just to prepare a foundation for his future actions. Since Long San has already been bedeviled, we should just help him out and let him become a flame cultivator. When the time comes to enter the heavenly dragon flame region, he can go crazy and slaughter all the experts of the Divine Shield Alliance. What do you think? He, Dan Yangsu laughed. Her icily cold face twisted in a sinister expression that gave others goosebumps. This is a good idea. It's the fastest way to use him. With Long San's spiritual strength and flame control, he'd definitely be a terrifying flame cultivator. Killing those alchemists would be easy. Once it's over, we'll push all the responsibility on Long San, turning him into the culprit so that no one can blame us. Kan Dongzi's eyes brightened. Even Zhuo Xiang Xiang was moved by this. This move was very vicious but it was the fastest way to use Long San. This chess piece could make a tremendous impact this way. However, to have an alchemist with limitless potential become a flame cultivator will probably be a bit difficult. Kan Dong shook his head. Long San wasn't an idiot. He wouldn't agree. It's not up to him. Someone has challenged him to a life and death battle. As long as we don't say anything, or if we agree to it, Long San must face the battle. He'll either have to die or hurry and cultivate flame magical arts in a limited time to face Luo Xiao's challenge. We just have to tell him that even dual martial pill cultivation can reach the peak of the alchemy Dao. 
isn't our pill fairy Yu Kingsu in the best example said Dan Yangsu. When she mentioned the pill fairy, fierce jealousy appeared in her eyes. All right, then let's try it. That Long San is still a youngster and he might fall for it. Kan Dongs nodded. He knew that such a matter would be up to him. The Vice Alliance Master. Long San. Bad news. Long Chen was in the midst of studying his new magical arts when the door to his room was pushed open. Zhang Yutao ran in panickedly. What is it? Asked Long Chen hurriedly. Quick. Come. Duan Xiang Kiao. She. Committed suicide what Long Chen's expression changed. Duan Xiang Kiao was in her courtyard. Sitting beneath a tree. Her eyes were looking toward the east. They had lost all their luster. There were quite a few disciples around Duan Xiang Kiao's courtyard. It was unknown what they were whispering. Out of the way. Long Chen directly barged through them, arriving in front of Duan Xiang Kiao, placing a finger on her forehead. His spiritual strength poured inside. However, it was too late. Although her body was still warm, her soul had long since dissipated. If he had come just a quarter hour earlier, when Duan Xiang Kiao's soul had just started to dissipate, perhaps he would have been able to use his powerful spiritual strength to form a spiritual formation and recall her soul. But now, no one could save her. A beautiful girl lost her life beneath an ancient tree. Why? Long Chen looked at Duan Xiang Kiao. There were no tears on her face. Her lifeless eyes were still looking into the distance like they were remembering something with longing. Long Chen felt a sad pain. A beautiful woman was like a flower. Its wilting was always regretful. That was especially true when it was a friend who died. This is... Long Chen suddenly saw Duan Xiang Kiao holding something in her hand. Chapter 1343 Who is scheming against who? Translator. Born to be it was a piece of paper. He slowly unfurled it and read what was written on it. There was simply one line written by a woman's hand. Now will you be happy? Seeing this line of words, Long Chen's expression changed. He sensed that this matter was not ordinary. Yu Tao, what's going on? Killing intent began to rise in Long Chen's eyes. What do you think? Others got bored of playing with this slut and tossed her away. As for you, Long San, you were just second-hand goods. He, sneered a disciple. Die. Long Chen suddenly roared furiously and punched that disciple's head. There was no suspense. His head exploded like a watermelon. Long Chen's punch was too terrifying and too sudden. The disciples beside him were all splattered with blood noveloon.com no. That disciple's soul appeared in the air, but a flame spear suddenly shot out of Long Chen's hand, incinerating his soul. That disciple was instantly killed. The other disciples were all shocked. They had never expected Long Chen would dare to kill people. They all became pale, too terrified to move. Long San, you've caused a calamity now. Zhang Yutao also jumped in fright. Now even he was worried. I don't care about that right now. Tell me, why would Duan Xiang Kiao commit suicide? Who is she asking if they will be happy now? Demanded Long Chen. Zhang Yutao explained this matter from the start. Panic wouldn't help now. At this time, people were already rushing away to report this matter to the elders. Under Long Chen's interrogation, Zhang Yutao had no choice but to explain Duan Xiang Kiao's history. Originally. Her talent was not bad, and she easily became an inner disciple. But wanting to join the Divine Pill Hall was extremely difficult. She tried several times without succeeding. Later on, one of the Divine Pill Hall's disciples gave her some pointers, allowing her alchemy skill to advance by a great deal, making her eligible to finally enter the Divine Pill Hall. Duan Xiang Kiao was extremely grateful to that disciple, and under his pursuit, the two of them became Alchemy Deo companions. It was only later that Duan Xiang Kiao learned that this disciple had only helped her to pull her into the Divine Shield Alliance. Furthermore, this person also had other Deo companions. Duan Xiang Kiao had immediately felt used. She had had a huge fight with that person, and she had formed an urge to kill herself at that time. It was the Pill Fairy that had come to support Duan Xiang Kiao advising her to leave the Divine Shield Alliance and join the neutral faction. Furthermore, she had even given out a warning that no one was to mention this matter again. At that time, this matter had caused quite a ruckus before things had gradually calmed down. 
Duan Xiang Kiao had managed to escape the shadow of her past and once more began cultivating her alchemy, but the emotions that hadn't worked out from back then still caused quite an influence over her, and in the end, she was unable to improve her ranking. She was stuck at the bottom, always in danger. Just yesterday, when someone had cursed Duan Xiang Kiao for being a slut, Long Chen had thought that someone was intentionally trying to find trouble with him. He hadn't known there had been such a story behind it. Now, it seemed that this person's curse had provoked Duan Xiang Kiao's inner wound. Adding on how her alchemy had stagnated for so many years, she had felt like there was no more meaning in living, and decided to end her young life. Why did you have to do this? People always grow by facing the bumps on their way. They mature amid lies and schemes. Did you really think this life no longer had meaning to you? If you really hated this world, why is it that you would face toward the east before death? Don't worry, I will bring your ashes out of this emotionless world and back to your home. Long Chen sighed and gently brushed Duan Xiang Kiao's face. He closed her eyes. I'm sorry. Just at this moment, the pill fairy walked over in an imperial dress. Seeing Duan Xiang Kiao's corpse, sadness appeared in her eyes. You don't have anything to apologize for. Wherever there are people, there will be competition. A survival of the fittest. You've already done what you could do. I'd just like to ask you to leave Duan Xiang Kiao's ashes to me after she's cremated. I hope to return her ashes back to her home. Perhaps that was her only desire before her death, said Long Chen. Long San, you randomly killed someone. Come with me. Just at this moment. A group of elders seized Long Chen. Long Chen didn't resist and let them bring him away. The pill fairy looked at his stubborn figure as it gradually faded. An indescribable pain appeared in her heart. Pill fairy, this matter. Jiang Zijin also rushed over. Don't try to explain anything. I don't care if you know about this or not. Your struggles in the future have nothing to do with me. Move. I'm bringing her away. The pill fairy gently picked up Duan Xiang Kiao's body. Without even looking at Jiang Zijin, she left. Jiang Zijin awkwardly made way for the pill fairy. The pill fairy had always been a gentle person. For her to say such a thing meant she was truly infuriated. Long San, you've killed two people now. This is truly troublesome. Kan Dongs was disappointedly speaking to Long Chen in prison. He repeatedly brought up his shortcomings. How he was too impetuous. How he didn't use his head and how he was definitely going to be executed now. Although that disciple truly said something he shouldn't have said after Duan Xiang Kiao's death, killing him is still unforgivable. We've already reduced your punishment as much as possible. Right now, the only thing you can do is accept Luo Xiao's challenge. Luo Xiao is a rank 7 celestial and a flame cultivator. Since you haven't cultivated flame magical arts, you'll definitely die. That's why you have to work hard during this time to cultivate flame fighting skills to face Luo Xiao. We've already done our best and won 10 days for you to train. Long San, I want to hear what you think, said Kan Dongs. I'm not thinking about anything. So what if I have to switch to become a flame cultivator? Others are unable to do dual martial pill cultivation, but I've always wanted to try it. I just want to know if after I kill Luo Xiao. Will I be able to challenge the person that caused Duan Xiang Kiao to commit suicide as revenge for her? Asked Long Chen. Kan Dongs laughed inside. Originally, he had been thinking of how to convince Long Chen to switch to become a flame cultivator. He hadn't expected him to be so brazen as to instantly agree. Furthermore, he was even thinking about future challenges. This simply proved that he had been completely bedeviled. As long as you can kill Luo Xiao. Everything else is no problem. As for the matter of avenging Duan Xiang Kiao, we'll definitely set it up for you. Whether or not you'll be able to kill that person will be up to your own abilities though, said Kan Dongs. Good. Then I want to start training in flame magical arts right now. I'm already impatient, said Long Chen confidently. All right. Then I'll find a powerful flame cultivator to secretly train you during this time. Good luck. I look favorably upon you. Kan Dongs patted Long Chen on the shoulder encouragingly. But when he turned to leave, a cold smile appeared on his face. However, when Kan Dongs left, he didn't see a cold smile also appear on Long Chen's face. 
Time passed by, and five days were gone in an instant, within Zhuo Xiangxiang's private room, other than Zhuo Xiangxiang, Dan Yangsu, and Kan Dongs. A red-haired elder was also present. This elder had extremely intense flame energy fluctuations coming from his body, and they caused space to twist around him. He was a terrifying life star flame cultivator with immense power. Elder Ju, how is Long San's cultivation asks Huo Xiangxiang, reporting to protectors Huo. Everything is going very smoothly. This Long San is definitely a genius with terrifying comprehension ability. Furthermore, his willpower is very strong. He chose to use the peak level of the raging flame body tempering process. Even as his body is incinerated, his expression doesn't change. He's a ruthless person. In order to increase the power of his physical body, he undergoes the body tempering process for 16 hours a day, and with the best possible medicinal pills offered to him, the rate at which his body is strengthening is monstrous. If I didn't personally witness it, I wouldn't believe it. He's truly suited to walk the path of a flame cultivator, said the red-haired Elder Ju emotionally. Long Chen's body was strengthening so quickly that Elder Ju found it hard to believe. Long Chen was using this body tempering process to slowly reveal the real power of his physical body. That way, the increase of his battle strength wouldn't be too sudden and expose him. Good. Then when he fights Luo Xiao, he won't lose. As long as he can force it into a draw, we can get past this. Looks like I was worried for nothing. However, Elder Ju, don't be careless. Long San is a very important chess piece for us. Since there's not much time left before the Heavenly Dragon Flame region opens, you have to raise his power as much as possible. No matter how many resources it costs, we'll get it all back a hundred. No, a thousand times, said Zhuo Xiangxiang. Yes, your subordinate understands. I'll go check on him right now. I won't let him slack off at all, promised Elder Ju. Once Elder Ju left, Zhuo Xiangxiang, Dan Yangsu, and Kan Dongs all smiled. Long San had given them quite a few pleasant surprises. Boom. Flames filled the sky. Long Chen was surrounded by countless flame runes, looking like a god of fire. Flame runes had even appeared in his eyes. Ha ha ha. Good. Excellent. Long San. After exhausting so much earth flame essence, your physical body is already comparable to body cultivators. Laughed Elder Ju. Bang. He was laughing when Long Chen's fist landed squarely on his face. He flew back with a pained groan. Long San, are you mad? Raged Elder Ju. I'm not mad. I just wanted to test my power, said Long Chen coldly. There's not much more time. I want to take Luo Xiao's head in just three moves. Long Chen slowly raised his head. His eyes contained an icy killing intent that made Elder Ju shiver. Chapter 1344 Confrontation Between Flame Cultivators Translator Born to be on the outskirts of Pill Valley was a tall mountain with a grand palace built on top of it. In front of this palace was a huge martial arena. The martial arena shone with golden light. Each brick was refined with scarlet flame gold, and they were protected by powerful runes. They could withstand terrifying heat. There was also a powerful formation around the martial arena. Right now, countless Pill Valley disciples were gathering around the martial stage. Because it was located on the outskirts of Pill Valley, all disciples could come watch. There was a veritable sea of people around it now. I heard that two disciples of the Divine Pill Hall are fighting a life and death match to resolve some enmity asked someone. Yes. One of them is a rank 7 celestial who entered the Divine Pill Hall two years ago, Luo Xiao. In the last year, his alchemy arts have stagnated and he's close to washing out. I heard that several months ago, he gave up on the Pill Dao and became a flame cultivator. His combat power is terrifying, whispered an inner disciple who knew some more about the Divine Pill Hall. The majority of the inner disciples were unable to go to the Divine Pill Hall but they could hear a few rumors about the people in it. Some people were just too bored and spent all day investigating the Divine Pill Hall. So for them to know a few things behind the scenes was normal. I heard Luo Xiao challenged a demon class genius, Long San. This fellow spent three years crossing the Eastern Sea and missed his golden cultivation time. But I heard his spiritual strength has gone through some mutation. 
turning him into a monster amongst alchemists. In his first try, he managed to pass the trial to get into the Divine Pill Hall, stunning everyone, said someone emotionally. Long San's name had spread everywhere in Pill Valley in just over two months. Practically, everyone knew of him. One reason was his terrifying alchemy talent. But this alone wasn't enough to make everyone recognize him. The majority of people only knew of him due to his fighting skills. From the first day he joined the Divine Pill Hall, he had already started fighting, practically never skipping a day without a brawl. Over half the Divine Shield Alliance's people had been beaten by him. At first, the Divine Shield Alliance's people had been intentionally provoking him. But toward the end, Long San began to beat them up directly whenever he saw them. No matter if he was in a good mood or not, he was too lazy to even find an excuse to beat them. Every few days, he would be sent to the delinquent prison, but then they heard that the atmosphere in the delinquent prison had become very good. Those disciples that were normally sent there had all corrected their behavior and were studying obediently. The full delinquent prison became empty. Pill Valley had always had many disciples with violent tempers due to playing with fire. When they encountered bottlenecks, they would easily become angry and do things they normally wouldn't do. As a result, Pill Valley tossed them into the delinquent prison, so they could get it out of their system. Usually, once they finished fighting, they would be able to calm down and focus on alchemy. Pill Valley had countless disciples, and the original delinquent prison had been expanded several times in the past, but this was the first time in history that it was completely empty. Long San had been secretly called the master of delinquents. He had guided them all to the correct path, correcting their alchemy attitude and allowing them to find their own cultivation goals. Long San's name was also something spread by those reformed delinquents. Luo Xiao has arrived. Suddenly, a sharp cry rang out, and a group of people walked over. They wore the robes of the Divine Pill Hall with a shield embroidered on their collars. Their leader was a tall man. He was Luo Xiao. Luo Xiao had over ten disciples following him. He walked in grandly, and the crowd immediately opened a path for him. He walked to the entrance of the martial stage and flashed his badge at a stone pillar, which then emitted a ray of light that scanned his body. He vanished and reappeared on the martial stage. This was a life and death stage, a place to resolve conflicts between disciples. If the enmity had reached this point, then there was no way to mediate things. Every sect would have such a martial stage. Only through competition could there be progress. But where there was competition, there was also anger and hatred. When the seed of hatred was planted, it would rapidly grow to the point where one could not live with the other. The weak were prey to the strong. Survival of the fittest. This was the foundation of every sect. And Pill Valley was no exception. Pill Valley's rules were even harsher than some sects. Once a disciple applied for a life and death match, if the higher-ups approved of it, then there was no stopping it. Once the two fighters entered the martial stage, there were no more rules. Only one would come out alive. Unless an expert on the level of a Grand Elder intervened, no one could stop it. However, Grand Elders mostly didn't bother with such minor things. Long San has also arrived. Heavens, what powerful killing intent. An uproar suddenly exploded as a person slowly walked over. Flame energy and killing intent surged out of him. The instant Long Chen appeared, a terrifying heat ignited the air. The space around him was constantly twisting, yet no one could sense any heat. All their hair stood on end. Long Chen's gaze was ice cold. Those were not the eyes of a human. They were like the eyes of a bloodthirsty magical beast. Long San really has become bedeviled, and severely so. We'll have to think of a way to make him reserve himself a bit, or it won't be good for the plan. Within a private room, Zhuo Shiangxiang, Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Elder Ju were watching a wall. They would see everything that was happening in the martial arena. It was Dan Yangsu speaking. At this time, Long Chen's eyes were scarlet. That was a clear sign of fire poison invading his body. If this continued, he would lose all reasoning and become a violent madman. Alliance Master Yang Su, don't worry, it's simply because Long San's power has increased too fast, resulting in the fire poison affecting his mind. He has absorbed a huge amount of earth flame essence, and that energy is enough to kill 20 rank 7 celestials. 
but because of his immense spiritual strength, he was able to absorb all of it. At the same time as his physical body absorbed it, his soul energy was exhausted, so a portion of it was absorbed by his soul. As long as Long San consumes a pill to dispel fire poison after the fight, with his powerful spiritual strength, the fire poison won't have any effect on him. In truth, the thing I'm worried about the most is his heart devil. His confidence has inflated to the point that he seems to think he's unrivaled. He even dared to attack me. Elder Ju shook his head. He was too embarrassed to say that Long Chen had punched him in the face. Thus, to preserve his dignity, he had to say that Long Chen had attacked him. All right, then I'll trouble Elder Ju. Long Chen is an important chess piece, so you have to treat him well. Once this succeeds, there's at least an 80% chance of you becoming the Eastern Xuan Region's Tower Master, said Zhuo Xiangxiang. Many thanks, Protector Zhuo. Disciple will definitely do his best to make Long San into the most terrifying killing machine. Elder Ju was delighted. Yes. First, let's see the results of the past 10 days. Hopefully, he won't disappoint me. Zhuo Xiangxiang nodded. Long Chen came on his own. Unlike Luo Xiang, this was something Kan Dong's had arranged on purpose. It was to let Long Chen know that he had no one to rely on and could only rely on himself. His only chance to live was to win. Long Chen was also transported to the stage. He was staring at Luo Xiao icily, not knowing what he was feeling inside. Originally, he had only come to Pill Valley for the second volume of the Nirvana scripture. He hadn't wanted to join any power or participate in any competition. Unfortunately, plans changed quickly. He had thought that coming to Pill Valley and obtaining the Nirvana scripture would be nothing more than a farce. Once he got it, he'd pat his butt and leave. Then Duan Xiang Kiyo had died. That had surprisingly pained him. Although he wasn't close to her, they were still acquaintances. Her death had made him think of how Yi's Hikyu had died in the Jiuli secret realm. It reminded him of the poignant beauty Yi's Hikyu had possessed as she had died. Duan Xiang Kiyo's suicide was just a way for her to escape from reality. She had lost to fate. Or perhaps she had felt that life was too tiresome, too bitter, and without anything to rely on, she was unable to see the sunlight, so she felt like she couldn't endure any longer and wanted to rest. In truth, Duan Xiang Kiyo's life was similar to the lives of many cultivators. The cultivation world was like a vat of dye that blocked everything, making it so no one could see the sunlight. But Long Chen trusted that as long as he dared to struggle, no matter how terrible the situation was, there would be some hope. If you gave up, perhaps you would have tossed away that hope. So ever since he stepped onto the cultivation path, Long Chen had never thought about giving up. He had no reason to give up. Duan Xiang Kiyo had given up. That made Long Chen feel regretful, as well as giving him a warning that he had to work hard at getting stronger. He had to be able to carry all the burdens because he didn't want his beauties to endure burdens they couldn't carry. A man should work hard to give his beauties a sanctuary where they didn't need to worry about anything. You dare to get distracted? Die. All of a sudden, Luo Xia roared furiously, flame energy exploding out of him. The manifestation of a rank 7 celestial appeared, and a flame spear pierced toward Long Chen. Luo Xiao had originally wanted to say something upon Long Chen's arrival. But then he saw Long Chen just staring at the sky as if he was lost in thought, infuriating him. The 30 meter flame spear was like a shooting star. It twisted the space wildly. If you can last three moves, I'll spare your life. Long Chen snorted and jumped into the air. Blood colored flames wrapped around his fist as he punched the spear. Boom. The flame spear blew apart, filling the air with flames. For a moment, every disciple was silent. Staring in shock. Chapter 1345 Unable to receive a single blow translator. Born to be in front of Master Long San. You're just an ant. Starting now. I, Master Long San, am going to dominate heaven and earth. You are only fit to crawl beneath my feet. Long Chen floated in the air like a god of fire looking down on the rest of the world. The violent way his hair and robes blew about him made him look deranged. His spiritual strength was also chaotic. He's practically insane. He dares to say such a thing. Kondong shook his head. Then looking at Long San's scarlet eyes. 
It was clearly the effect of fire poison that had made him lose his reasoning. That was why he would say such brazen words. Every one of the disciples surrounding the martial arena was unable to accept it. He had basically called all of them ants. Too arrogant. A newcomer also dares to be this arrogant? Who do you think you are? Luo Xiao. Kill him. I've seen arrogant people, but never anyone so arrogant quite a few disciples couldn't help but curse Long Chen. Perhaps this was simply envy for a disciple of the Divine Pill Hall. They finally had an excuse to openly curse one of them. Long San, you really are an idiot. I, Luo Xiao, began the switch to a flame cultivator half a year ago. My foundation is much more profound than yours. Furthermore, my cultivation base is in the Jade Core Realm. As for you, you're just in the foundation forging realm. Where did this arrogance of yours come from? Do you think I only have this little bit of ability? Let me tell you, that was just a test. The real fight starts now. Realize that next year, today will be the anniversary of your death. This is the real power of a flame cultivator. Power of the flame spirit. Form of 10,000 beasts. I am your soul. My life is your name. Contractual flame spirit beast. Appear. Boom. Flames suddenly erupted out of Luo Xiao as he formed hand seals. They condensed into a huge figure beneath his feet. It was a flame salamander hundreds of meters long. A terrifying pressure caused the spectators' hearts to shake. This Luo Xiao is actually able to condense his own earth flame spirit beast. Kondongs was a bit surprised. There were two types of earth flame spirit beasts. One was natural earth flames that took the appearance of beasts. They could be forcibly subdued and enslaved to fight for their master. But earth flames had their own spirits and using a slave imprint to forcibly order it to fight would cause a conflict between its spirit and its master's will. Sometimes it would suddenly attack its master. The second method involved condensing an earth flame spirit beast through a kind of secret art possessed by Pill Valley. This earth flame spirit beast would be fully obedient. The prerequisite to do such a thing was to sacrifice a portion of your spiritual strength to give life to the earth flame spirit beast. This earth flame spirit beast formed from your own earth flame energy and spiritual strength would be 100% loyal. Because its soul was a part of your soul, the master and beast could fight all out. Every alchemist could raise earth flame spirit beasts. But sacrificing a portion of their spiritual strength for an earth flame spirit beast was not worth it. As for the spiritual strength you sacrificed, it would never fully recover. It signified that you would never have 100% of your soul energy ever again. Each sliver of spiritual strength was extremely important to an alchemist. Sometimes the success or failure of a refinement was dependent on just that one sliver. As a result, there were essentially no alchemists that raised their own earth flame spirit beasts. Furthermore, the more powerful the earth flame spirit beast, the more soul energy would be exhausted. Luo Xiao's earth flame spirit beast was extremely powerful. Luo Xiao had sacrificed a full 10% of his spiritual strength to raise it. That was why it was so terrifying. Capable of instantly killing ordinary jade core experts. Die. Luo Xiao's flame salamander suddenly charged forward. Slamming a claw at Long Chen. Boom. Flames filled the sky. Long Chen had met the salamander's claw with his fist. Compared to the flame salamander. Long Chen was as tiny as a fly. Although he managed to stop the claw, he was constantly being pushed back by it. The huge power blew apart Long Chen's shoes. Blood red runes appeared on Long Chen's feet. They ground against the metal bricks, releasing a hair raising metallic ringing. Not bad. That earth flame essence wasn't wasted. Long San's physical body is comparable to a body cultivator. Seeing Long Chen rely on just his physical strength to block this flame salamander, Zhuo Xiang Xiang nodded. Reporting to Protector Zhuo, Disciple has noticed that Long San's physical body is extremely powerful. Even after absorbing all that earth flame essence, it doesn't seem like he's reached his limit. If we had more time and he could absorb more earth flame essence, his body would grow even stronger. Interjected Elder Ju. I see. Alchemists normally have weak bodies. This Long San really is an oddity. If we weren't in such a rush, he definitely would be raised properly. With such a powerful physical body, there's basically no way he can lose. When he gets back, 
properly raise the secret weapon. Perhaps he can give us a pleasant surprise. Suo Xiang Xiang smiled. Boom. Long Chen was finally unable to continue blocking the power of the flame salamander and was sent flying. Die. Luo Xiao didn't give Long Chen any chance to recover. The tail of the salamander whipped toward him. HMPH. Do you think you're the only one with an earth flame spirit beast? Power of the flame spirit. Form of 10,000 beasts. I am your soul. My life is your name. Contractual flame spirit beast. Appear. Long Chen suddenly made the same hand seals and chanted the same thing as Luo Xiao. Seeing this shocked everyone. Even Suo Xiang Xiang and the ones in the room. He. Under my supervision and guidance. Long San can now use this move. Elder Ju modestly smiled. But the delight in his eyes sold him out. In truth. Elder Ju was just trying to make himself look better. This wasn't something he had taught Long Chen. It was something he had taken the initiative to learn. Suddenly, a huge blood-colored wolf appeared in the air. It was extremely lifelike, looking just like a real magical beast. It immediately let out a furious howl. All its hair stood on end, and its eyes contained icy killing intent. He's actually able to condense such a lifelike earth flame spirit beast? Just how much spiritual strength did he sacrifice? Asks Huo Xiang Xiang. The more solid the earth flame spirit beast, the greater its power, and the more spiritual strength had to be sacrificed to condense it. I really don't know. Long San has so much spiritual strength that even after condensing this earth flame spirit beast, I didn't sense his spiritual strength drop. Elder Ju shook his head, sighing. The wolf bit the salamander's tail and instantly tore it off, not giving the tail any time to transform into runes. The wolf opened its mouth and devoured it. This blood-colored flame wolf was no earth flame spirit beast. It was one of Huo Long's transformations. Its appearance was similar to Little Snow's, but its fur was blood-colored instead of white, the specific color of the berserk blood flame. Long Chen stood it up its head, seeing this familiar figure. He felt a wave of emotion. It was like he could see Little Snow blocking the Yama King blood curse for him and dying in the immemorial path. Little Snow. Charge. Long Chen let out a quiet cry. It was like he had returned to a time when they could fight alongside each other. Huo Long seemed to be able to sense Long Chen's emotions. And it let out a roar. It bent its legs and then pounced at Luo Xiao as quick as lightning. Luo Xiao was shocked and infuriated. He had never imagined that Long Chen would have an earth flame spirit beast, and one even stronger than his own at that. Due to Long Chen's earth flame being of an even higher rank than Luo Xiao's, his earth flame spirit beast was stronger, causing Luo Xiao to panic. Luo Xiao made the salamander dodge, wanting to avoid it being killed in one hit, but he didn't know that Long Chen's flame wolf was no ordinary earth flame spirit beast. Huo Long had been raised by Long Chen from its youth and it had experienced countless bloody battles with him. It possessed its own combat instincts. Although its form had changed to a wolf instead of a dragon, it was still nimble and agile. Missing its first dash, its back legs stamped on the ground and it spun, rushing toward the salamander that had just dodged. Luo Xiao had yet to even stabilize it yet. Boom. In front of countless shocked gazes, the wolf's paw slammed into the salamander, making it explode. Although Luo Xiao had abandoned his earth flame spirit beast at the last moment and was flying away, he was coughing up blood from the shock waves. Before he could do anything, a figure appeared in front of him, and a large hand clamped over his throat, holding him in the air like a chicken. A pair of eyes with blood-colored runes in them stared at him. That gaze was like the gaze of a death god, and Luo Xiao's soul almost fled out of terror. Long San, don't kill me, please. I'm begging you. At this time, Luo Xiao's throat was caught and he couldn't speak. He could only send out a spiritual message, begging for mercy. I had no choice other than to target you. Please, let me go. I won't do anything to you ever again. Luo Xiao was full of terror. The outsiders couldn't sense Luo Xiao's spiritual messages outside the martial stage, but they saw his begging appearance. Speak. Who deceived Duan Xiang Kido? Long Chen's voice was icy without the slightest emotion, just like a grim reaper from hell. Chapter 1346 Damn Trash Translator
born to be blood colored runes surfaced on Long Chen's hand, and the flames instantly enveloped Luo Xiao. At that time, Long Chen released Luo Xiao's throat, and a miserable cry resounded throughout the arena. Everyone felt a chill. Long San was completely vicious. He had not only killed Luo Xiao, but he had also made him suffer the pain of being incinerated before his death. Luo Xiao's miserable cry hung in the air for half an incense stick's time before Long Chen's flames incinerated him into nothing. Even his soul was gone without a trace. Behind Long Chen, the flame wolf, which had already absorbed all the flame salamander's energy, shrank down to three meters and quietly stood behind Long Chen. One man and one beast stood atop the martial stage. Everyone was deathly silent, and all their gazes gathered on this man whose eyes unleashed a scarlet light. Hu Chunsheng, you little bastard. I, Master Long San, challenge you to a life and death match right now. If you're a man, you'll come out and fight me to the death. Long Chen suddenly let out a furious roar that shook the sky. His killing intent had reached a terrifying level that made others involuntarily shudder. Hu Chunsheng was an existence that few outer disciples would know, but to old inner disciples that had investigated things in the Divine Pill Hall. He was quite well known. They also knew why Long Chen would challenge him. That was because the one that had tricked Wan Xiang Kiao of her purity was Ku Chunsheng. In truth, Ku Chunsheng's reputation was extremely bad in the Divine Pill Hall. Many people loathed him. He had a decent face, but the way he acted disgusted people. Pill Valley did not prevent men and women from dual cultivating. A situation where a man had multiple dual cultivation Deo companions was not that rare, but the majority of those men would tell their Deo companions about everything. They wouldn't conceal their partners. That was because whether it was in the secular world or cultivation world, the feeling of being tricked was unendurable. That was especially true in the cultivation world. The Deo heart was extremely important, and being tricked like this would very easily form a heart devil. It was taboo. As for Ku Chunsheng, what he had cared about was Duan Xiang Kiyo's potential. He had helped her when she had had no support, showing care for her in every possible manner and winning her heart. Only later had Duan Xiang Kiyo noticed that Ku Chunsheng had other Dao companions. She was able to accept this, but then she had heard Ku Chunsheng speaking with Jiang Zijin. Only then had she learned that Ku Chunsheng didn't have any feelings for her. He had only gotten close to her to get another helper for the Divine Shield Alliance. At that time, Duan Xiang Kiyo had felt like the heavens were collapsing. She had demanded to know why Ku Chunchen would trick her. Who would have thought that after being exposed, Ku Chunchen wouldn't even be the slightest bit apologetic. Instead, he insulted Duan Xiang Kiyo for not being able to recognize kindness. If it hadn't been for him. She wouldn't have been able to enter the Divine Pill Hall in her lifetime. Duan Xiang Kiyo had never imagined that the modest man she liked was actually such a person. She was completely disheartened and contemplated suicide. It was the Pill Fairy that had saved her from this darkness. It took a long time for this matter to be settled. However, just a few days ago, the day Duan Xiang Kiyo had committed suicide, Hu Chunchen had gone to find her in her courtyard. It was unknown what had gone down between them, but it was that very day that Duan Xiang Kiyo killed herself. Long Chen hadn't known about all this. This information was what he had found out by investigating Luo Xiao's soul before he died. Long Chen almost couldn't believe a man would be so shameless. His fury immediately soared, and he directly challenged Ku Chunsheng. You aren't qualified to challenge me. I am an alchemist, while you have already become a flame cultivator. You're already far below me in terms of status. A good-looking man with shoulder-length hair sneered from amongst the crowd. The people around him immediately retreated, and a few of the inner disciples stared at him with a look of disgust. That was the Ku Chunsheng who used his looks to survive in the world. In truth, with Ku Chunsheng's talent, if it wasn't for the backing of the Divine Shield Alliance, he would probably have long since fallen to the bottom of the rankings and been kicked out of Pill Valley. This pretty boy specialized in picking out inexperienced but talented women from the inner sect but with the Divine Shield Alliance behind him, no one dared to expose him to those women. However, everyone who knew about him hated him. Hu Chunsheng sneered. Suddenly, he sent a spiritual message to Long Chen. 
Do you want to know what I said to Duan Xiang Kiao that day? He, it wasn't much of anything. I just looked back on our experiences and the details of our romance. I then made a comparison to some other women. They were such beautiful memories. I didn't expect her to be so narrow-minded. Sigh. Buzz. All of a sudden, the martial stage shook. After killing Luo Xiao, it was sending Long Chen out. Coincidentally, the exit and the entrance to the martial stage were not the same places. Long Chen was transported to a place less than 3,000 meters from Ku Chunsheng. In that instant, Ku Chunsheng's expression changed and he turned to flee. Once he was outside, he'd definitely be safe, because there were guards outside the martial arena, but not inside. Just at this moment, someone intentionally blocked his path. They crashed into each other. Are you blind? Why would you crash into me? That person was an inner disciple. After blocking Ku Chunsheng's path, he acted like it was his fault, but he was actually trying to stop Ku Chunsheng. Many people hated him and wished for Long San to get rid of this trash. Ku Chunsheng's expression once more changed as he felt a terrifying killing intent lock him down. That killing intent made it so he couldn't move. A hand suddenly pierced through his back and ripped out his beating heart. An icy voice rang out from behind him. How curious. How could garbage like you also have a heart? And your blood's even red. The hand shot forward like a blade, splitting Ku Chunsheng apart. Long Chen pulled. Your guts are a bit small. That doesn't make sense. After doing so many heartless things, how could your guts be so small? Well, people say the guts and the liver are connected. So let's see your liver. Pfft. Ah, sorry. My anatomy's not so good. It seems this is your spleen. Long Chen's hands were bloody, but curiously, none of the surrounding disciples felt any pity. Instead, they felt like their hatred was finally being vented. Long San, tear apart this scum of Pill Valley. This bastard should be cut into a million pieces. Seeing female disciples being seduced by this bastard one by one had made them hate him to the bone a long time ago. Right now, watching Long San torture him allowed them to finally vent. Long San, stop. Release Ku Chunsheng. Otherwise, just at this moment, Jiang Zijin led a group of people over. Just as Ku Chunsheng saw Jiang Zijin and a sliver of hope appeared within him, runes circulated around Long Chen's arm, blowing apart his body. Ku Chunsheng only had a head left. Senior apprentice brother Zijin, save. <laughs> Long Chen punched Ku Chunsheng's jaw, making it so he couldn't speak. According to reason, a person would require vocal cords to speak, but an alchemist could make other parts of their bodies rub together to make sounds. So even without a neck, he had managed to cry something out. However, without even a tongue, he couldn't cry for help. Well, perhaps if he knew how to rub his eyelashes together to make noise, he could speak, but he didn't know how to do such a thing. Your daddy Long San never gives in to threats. Do you want to try it again? Long Chen held Ku Chunsheng's head. Jiang Zijin was infuriated. Long San, you are buzz. Flames suddenly burst out of Long Chen's hand, wrapping around Ku Chunsheng's head. A miserable shriek resounded in everyone's souls. This wasn't the cry of a physical body, but Ku Chunsheng's spiritual fluctuations. All the disciples here had powerful spiritual strength and could sense his pain. In truth. The reason why he felt so much pain was because Long Chen's blood-colored flame hit a slight violet color within it. That was the soul-devouring violet flame, something specialized against souls. Ku Chunchen was enduring unspeakable pain at the moment. The people closest to Long Chen felt his pain too clearly and had to fall back. The spiritual resonance allowed them to experience Ku Chunchen's pain. What they were experiencing was just one ten-thousandth of what he was feeling but it still felt like needles were stabbing their souls. Long San, you're courting death. Jiang Zijin suddenly extended a hand, and a flame spear appeared. Nine flowers materialized behind his back as he summoned the peak manifestation of a celestial. Nine flowers manifest the heavenly deos. When Jiang Zijin summoned his manifestation, every disciple here turned pale, unable to even move. They were all suppressed by this heavenly Tao energy. Jiang Zijin's spear shot toward Long Chen, looking as though it could envelop heaven and earth. There was nowhere for Long Chen to dodge. Long Chen's expression changed. He found that Jiang Zijin's goal wasn't to save Ku Chunsheng, but
but to kill him. Long Chen tossed the head toward Jiang Zijin, but before it could even get close to him, the pressure emitting from the spear blew it apart. Die. Jiang Zijin's spear possessed an apocalyptic power as it pierced toward Long Chen. Long Chen's heart shook. Right now, he couldn't reveal too much power, or it would draw suspicion. But if he didn't, he wouldn't be able to block this attack. Bang. Just as Long Chen was caught in an impossible situation, a jade-like hand grabbed the tip of the spear, and its terrifying heavenly Tao energy instantly vanished. Chapter 1347 The Beauty Saves the Hero Translator Born to be Pill Fairy, all the disciples let out startled cries. The person who had appeared was a peerless beauty, someone who looked like an immortal in the mortal world, the pill fairy Yu Kingsuan. Normally, the pill fairy was gentle and refined, but now that she was holding Jiang Zijin's flame spear, she looked like a completely different person. An indescribable Tao charm was present around her. Her beauty had made her seem friendly before, but now there was an immortal charm around her that made others feel like looking at her was a blasphemy. Long Chen came to a sudden realization. No wonder Pill Valley's disciples called her the Pill Fairy. It was because of her current air. Just as the Pill Fairy intervened, Elder Ju, who was hidden in the crowd, silently slipped away. From the moment Long Chen had attacked Kuchun Shang, he had been sent by Zhuo Xiangxiang. Long Chen was their important chess piece and he couldn't be damaged. However, Elder Ju hadn't expected the Pill Fairy to come and stop Jiang Zijin. This was outside everyone's expectations. King Suan, Yu, Jiang Zijin was startled and infuriated. He hadn't expected the person to ruin such a good thing for him would be the Pill Fairy. The karma you sow is the karma you reap. The mistakes a person makes have to be borne by them eventually. Some people are just fated to die, and no one can stop it. Back then. I said that no one was to bring up this matter again. Duan Xiang Kiyo was a victim, and I didn't want anyone else to harm her. Jiang Zijin, you've really disappointed me. Just because there's competition, does it mean that you can use any despicable and shameless means? The pill fairy shook her head, a hint of disgust in her eyes. King Suan, listen to my explanation seeing that disgust. Jiang Zijin hastily tried to explain. There's nothing to explain. Even if everyone's opinions are different and there are multiple sides, is that a reason to harm innocent people who are ultimately all a part of Pill Valley? Go back. I won't let you use Kuchuncheng as an excuse to kill Long San, said the Pill Fairy. King Suan, do you know what you're doing? Have you forgotten your standing? Why are you always biased toward Long San? Do you? Jiang Zijin almost went insane and asked if she had fallen for him. Although he hadn't said it in the end, the meaning was clear enough that everyone here heard it. The Pill Fairy was a goddess in the hearts of all the male disciples of Pill Valley. She was loved and revered, but all of them knew they weren't a match for such a goddess. To stand by her side was a blasphemy. Being able to look at her from a distance was enough for them. Jiang Zijin was extremely handsome and an alchemy genius. His talent only second to the Pill Fairies. He was on the same level as Dan Yangsu and Kan Dongs, who were all ranked 9 Celestials. In every way, Jiang Zijin was a dragon amongst men. Although all the disciples felt a bit bitter about it, they had no choice but to admit that only someone like Jiang Zijin was qualified to pursue the Pill Fairy. After all, they were from the same faction, and that closeness benefited him. Furthermore, his qualifications were truly high. Jiang Zijin was always the one who stood beside the Pill Fairy, and many people had long since started viewing them as a couple. But now, the Pill Fairy had had a falling out with Jiang Zijin over Long San. For Jiang Zijin to now say such a thing, they instantly understood that Jiang Zijin had been acting completely in vain. I will always stand on the side of Pill Valley, on the side of Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Night. I'm already fed up with your fighting. If it weren't for that person, I'd have already left Pill Valley to go out on my own. There are many things in Pill Valley I don't want to interfere with, but this matter is something I must oppose. The Pill Fairy stared at Jiang Zijin with unswerving resolve. Bastard. Long San. I'll definitely tear you apart piece by piece. Jiang Zijin was absolutely enraged. With a furious roar, he transformed into eight flame bodies that went around the Pill Fairy to attack Long Chen. Fuck. 
What are you blaming me for? Cursed Long Chen inside. The eight flame bodies were extremely powerful. This was one of Pill Valley's secret arts. Each flame body was condensed of pill flame, and Jiang Zijin's earth flame was even stronger than Long Chen's berserk blood flame. Eight flame bodies were attacking Long Chen now, all of them wielding spears. Even without the underworld soul ghost curse, he would need to summon his divine ring and battle armor to block Novaloon.com. However, the only energy he could use was his flame energy. Right now, he couldn't care about being exposed, and he was just about to unleash all the power he could when a jade hand grabbed his arm and dragged him into the air. The eight flame bodies missed. Seeing the pill fairy holding Long Chen's arm in the air, Jiang Zijin felt like he was going insane. He was totally devoted to the pill fairy and had expressed his emotions to her before. However, the pill fairy had always maintained a certain distance from him. On the outside, it looked like they were a couple, but the two of them hadn't even touched clothes before. Seeing her holding Long Chen's arm, then looking at Long Chen's handsome appearance, Jiang Zijin thought of how the pill fairy had acted differently toward Long Chen from the start. The first time they had met in the restaurant, the pill fairy had asked for his name. That wasn't something she would normally do. Now seeing Long Chen's pleased expression, Jiang Zijin's hair stood on end, and flames raged in his eyes. The nine flowers behind him quivered, and flame energy erupted. Run. The surrounding disciples panicked and fled. Jiang Zijin was borderline insane now. Once his power was fully released, it would kill them all. In truth, Long Chen's expression was one of astonishment at being saved by the pill fairy, but in Jiang Zijin's eyes, he was simply pretending, so he wanted to tear him apart. Jiang Zijin, I don't want to fight against you. This is meaningless in front of the berserk Jiang Zijin. The pill fairy was still calm. She shook her head. Today, no matter what, I must kill Long San as revenge for Ku Chun Sheng. If you think you're right, then you can kill me. Jiang Zijin roared and put away his eight flame bodies. His aura explosively grew once more, and flames filled the sky. Long Chen sneered from the pill fairy's side. If you want to kill me, just be direct. Is there a need to find an excuse that not even a child would believe? Ku Chun Sheng isn't your father. So why are you so angry? This life of mine should have been lost three years ago in the stomach of a sea demon. It can be said that everything after that is just a bonus for me. If you want to kill me, then come. Isn't the worst case just dying? Other than a god, who doesn't die? Since it'll happen sooner or later, why live as a coward? In my eyes, you, Jiang Zijin, are a spineless coward, a pitiful insect, a hypocrite with the face of a human but the heart of a beast. Even when doing something wrong, you have to find such a grand excuse, a dignified reason. Perhaps people who don't know you will be fooled, but considering you act like this every day in the same sect, who do you think you're deceiving? The more hypocritical you are, the more others dislike you. So naturally, no woman would like someone like you. Long Chen's words were like poison arrows piercing Jiang Zijin's heart. They completely tore through his hypocritical disguise. The worst part was that he said it in front of the pill fairy. This was completely unacceptable to the prideful Jiang Zijin. Long San, if I don't kill you, I, Jiang Zijin, swear I'm not human, roared Jiang Zijin, charging forward. Just at this moment, a barrier of light appeared, forcing Jiang Zijin back. A stern-faced elder appeared in the sky. King Suan greets elder Rongsan. The pill fairy bowed slightly. The elder nodded. He said icily to Jiang Zijin, the right and wrong of this matter is not decided by you. How can you act like this? Elder Rongsan, Long San, he we saw everything. You were lacking calm when handling this matter, and you didn't have any of the characteristics necessary for a leader. Go and face the wall for three days. The elder waved his hand. Jiang Zijin's expression became exceedingly ugly, but it seemed that he was afraid of this elder Rongsan and so he didn't dare to make a sound. With a final vicious glare at Long Chen, he left. Once he left, Elder Rongson turned to Long Chen. Long San, your temper is out of hand. You've broken the rules. And now Long San truly is young and impetuous. But it was Ku Chun Chen who intentionally infuriated him. His words were toxic, and he is at fault. Long San was wrong in killing him, but his heart was thinking for Pill Valley. 
He removed the scourge to protect Pill Valley's dignity. Although it doesn't make up for what he has done, I feel like the only problem is that Long San is too impetuous and not calm enough. He doesn't have any of the characteristics necessary for a leader. So Long San, go and face the wall for three days. Another elder appeared. Behind him were Huo Xiangxiang, Kan Dongs, and Dan Yangsu. Clearly, this elder was also a grand elder, or he wouldn't be able to say such words. It was obvious that this elder Rongsan had wanted to expel Long Chen from Pill Valley just now, but before he could, this elder interrupted, alleviating his punishment to the point where he only had to face the wall for three days. The same punishment as Jiang Zijin. Of course, this is just a suggestion. After all, for such a major thing, it would be wrong for me to decide everything on my own. I feel like it would be best for the Grand Elders to hold a meeting and investigate this matter to its roots. After all, that girl Duan Xiang Kiyo died in our Pill Valley, and we have to give the dead an explanation. What do you say, Elder Rongson? The new elder smiled. Elder Rongson's expression sank slightly. If the other side investigated the matter of Duan Xiang Kiyo to the end, they would be unable to do anything to Long San. With a cold snort. Elder Rongson said that they could take their time deciding this matter and left. Take care. The pill fairy looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. In the end, she only said two thought-provoking words before leaving. Chapter 1348 Master Long San's Name Translator Born to be he had killed Luo Xiao on the martial stage and then killed Ku Chun Chen outside the martial stage in one day, killing two of the Divine Pill Hall's disciples. Long San's name instantly shook Pill Valley. Just as everyone thought that he would be either expelled from Pill Valley or heavily punished at least, he reappeared in front of everyone, swaggering about as arrogantly as ever. In fact, he was now even more domineering than before. Other than Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and a few other exceptions, no one could call him Long San. They had to call him Master Long San. The current Long San was truly an overlord in the Divine Pill Hall. Anyone he looked at would quiver. There were few people in Pill Valley who would dare to provoke him now. A certain phrase began to spread amongst Pill Valley's disciples. Provoke a Yama King rather than provoke Master Long San. That was because a recording of Long San killing Luo Xiao and Ku Chun Chen had reached every one of the disciples' hands. The viciousness he had displayed when killing Ku Chun Chen was especially terrifying. These disciples were mostly alchemists. Even if some were switching to flame cultivators, only a few of them had ever experienced a bloody battle. Therefore, they were completely shaken by Long Chen's methods. By killing Ku Chun Sheng, Long Chen had broken the rules, but there was the radical faction protecting him. Furthermore, when the Divine Pill Hall's disciples voted on the matter, practically all the neutral disciples expressed their support for Long San for killing Ku Chun Sheng. As a result, this matter wasn't able to cause any trouble for him. The Divine Pill Hall's disciples were able to sway Pill Valley's decisions with their votes, and they all supported Long San. One reason was because Ku Chun Chen was absolute trash and his death delighted them, but another reason was because of the Pill Fairy. The Pill Fairy had actually had a falling out with Jiang Zijin just for Long San, that already expressed her position. In truth, Although the Pill Fairy stood on the side of the conservative faction, she had her own views. She would definitely not blindly follow the conservative faction in every one of their decisions. She always judged whether something was right or wrong from her own view and acted accordingly. Thus, everyone in Pill Valley respected her, even the opposing Divine Spear Alliance's disciples. They didn't view her as an enemy. The Pill Fairy possessed a unique status and position amongst Pill Valley's disciples. They respected her, not because of her appearance, not because of her talent, and not because of her power, but because she possessed her own charisma that could make people follow her blindly. The Pill Fairy stood by Long San's side, and so the neutral disciples would definitely also support him. As for the Divine Spear Alliance's disciples, that went without saying, who would dare to not support him? As for the Divine Shield Alliance, even if they all voted against him, it was useless. That was because even if all the people of the Divine Spear Alliance and Divine Shield Alliance were added up, they would only make up a third of the Divine Pill Hall's disciples. The other two thirds were neutral disciples. 
Long Chen spent three days imprisoned, and after eating some medicine, his bedeviled appearance improved a great deal. Elder Ju had him relax for two days and made him stop training. It wasn't that Elder Ju was worried about his foundation growing unstable. Instead, he was worried that Long Chen's confidence was inflating too much. A heart devil was something difficult to control once it formed. He took advantage of when he was suppressed by Jiang Zijin's pressure, the pressure of a rank 9 celestial, to make him calm down and temper his arrogance. Otherwise, if he continued being so arrogant, he wouldn't listen to other people's orders and would ruin their plans. That was why he gave him two days of vacation. Long Chen was very obedient and acted like he had received a setback and began to adjust his condition. In truth, after killing Ku Chunshang, he had completely figured out Suo Shiang Xiang's plans for him. From Elder Zhu's words, he knew that these bastards were preparing to use him as a one-time use weapon. He sighed. Having acted to this extent truly hadn't been easy. After having to endure for so long, then having to act stupid and then crazy, he was finally getting closer to his target. During this time, sometimes Long Chen wouldn't even recognize himself. If Boss Bao, the old man, and the others were to know he had been acting like this, they might directly beat him to death. Long Chen was in the midst of feeling these emotions when he suddenly heard a sobbing sound. At this time, Long Chen had unconsciously walked out of the Divine Pill Hall's region and come to the inner sect he was currently walking along a small path far from the main path. He was near the end of this small path, and the sobbing sounds were coming from the end. This was an extremely remote location that few people would come to. Long Chen was curious and took a look. The sobbing was coming from a thick underbrush. It was very light. It seemed whoever was sobbing was doing their best to hold back. But Long Chen still heard it. The underbrush wasn't that high, and he saw a girl hiding within it. Her arms wrapped around her legs, with her head resting between her knees as she cried. Little sister, why are you crying? Who bullied you? Seeing that frail little girl made Long Chen think of the pitiful Duan Shian Kiddo. His voice softened quite a bit. The girl immediately jumped upon hearing someone's voice. She shuddered and raised her head. When she saw it was Long Chen. She turned completely pale and no longer dared to sob. She was only 13 years old, and her face still had the immaturity of a child. But she was very beautiful. Her eyes were bright, and her fair face was contrasted by her cherry lips. Seeing Long Chen, she was so terrified that she couldn't even make a sound. She wanted to run but didn't dare to. She just stared at Long Chen with shock. Am I so terrifying? Long Chen bitterly smiled. He didn't feel like his appearance was that frightening. Master Long San, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. I, the girl cried with terror. So it turned out that his name was so resounding that it could even make a child cry. He smiled and comforted her. Little sister, don't be afraid. Big bro isn't a bad person. What happened? Tell your big brother who bullied you. And your big brother will immediately cut their head off and give it to you as a toy. Either Long Chen's words were truly amusing or his voice sounded comforting. Either way, seeing the warmth in his eyes, the girl felt that this overlord of Pill Valley wasn't as terrifying as she had imagined. Master Long San, I, don't call me Master Long San. You can call me Brother Long. Tell me who bullied you and I'll go cut off their head. It's been three days since I've done anything, and I don't know if I've fallen out of practice. Long Chen smiled. Although he was talking about killing someone, his smile was warm. The girl felt a burst of warmth in her heart. Brother Long, I, she had only just opened her mouth when tears streamed down her face. She once more became choked with sobs. Thank you big brother, it's been a long time since anyone spoke to me and treated me well. Hey, don't cry. Talk to your big brother, I'll help you get revenge. With big brother protecting you, no one will dare to bully you. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. He also patted his butt and sat down in front of her. I just have to hide from the bully, so it's fine. However, I encountered a bottleneck and can't advance. My mom and dad worked so hard to raise me, expending so much blood and sweat for me. I'm carrying the hopes of my entire family, but I'm too stupid and have been stuck at this bottleneck for over a month without the slightest progress. I'm too stupid. I'm a failure the girl clenched her hands. 
her nails digging into her skin so hard that she bled. She clearly hated herself for being useless. Long Chen sighed deeply. This girl was only 13 years old, but her cultivation base had already reached the Xianchen realm. Based on the heavenly Tao fluctuations coming from her, she was probably a rank 6 celestial. At such an age, she was already an inner disciple of Pill Valley. She was practically a demon class genius. But who would have thought that behind such a bright figure was a concealed weak heart? Perhaps in the eyes of her parents and her family, she was their pride. But a thoughtful and smart child had to endure their own bitterness. The smarter a child, the more hopes would rest on them, and the more pressure they would be under. Just because she was smart, did she have to carry a greater burden? Parents often had to give more attention to their children that weren't smart, that didn't understand why they had to work hard. So they pushed all their hopes onto their smart children. Was that fair? Little sister, don't worry. Just tell me what bottleneck you encountered. Big brother is an alchemy expert, and even the pill fairy wants to learn my alchemy arts. If you don't believe me, you can go ask her. In order to make the girl trust him, Long Chen's old habit resurfaced and he began to brag a bit. Really the girl might be an alchemy genius, but she was still an inexperienced, naive child. She looked at Long Chen with shock. Of course. It's precisely because I taught her a few peerless techniques that she stood by my side when I killed that Kuchun Sheng. Lied Long Chen without batting an eye. Big brother, you're amazing. Even the pill fairy has asked you for advice? Then you definitely have to help me. This lass was still a little girl and instantly believed him. She pulled on his arm excitedly as if she had run into her savior. It's no problem. Alchemy problems aren't even problems in front of me. This time Long Chen wasn't bragging. In terms of alchemy, he was truly unrivaled. Big brother, when I'm condensing the pills and my spiritual strength merges with my pill flame, how am I supposed to balance the two and control them separately in order to increase the chances of succeeding with the refinement? Asked the little girl. This is very simple. There are seven ways to do this, but I'll only explain three simple ones. Listen well. This question might be a conundrum to others, but it could not be more simple for Long Chen. The girl was incredibly excited. The bottleneck that had perplexed her for so long was instantly broken. Big brother, I'm going home to refine pills. I can't go into the divine pill hall, so you have to come out and come find me. Wan Ching, don't forget to play with me in the future. The girl learned quickly, and she refused to waste any time. She ran off to digest Long Chen's theories. Long Chen smiled and sighed. There really were no lazy geniuses. Master Long San, your theories are so profound. Can I also get some pointers? Suddenly, a gentle voice rang out behind Long Chen, and his smile instantly turned stiff. When he saw the pill fairy smiling at him, even with his thick skin, he felt his face burning. Chapter 1349 Transmitting Goodwill Translator Born to be he, Pill Fairy, why would you come here? Said Long Chen awkwardly. It seemed that she had heard everything he had said to Wan Ching. In other words, she had heard his bragging about how she even came to him for pointers. He had truly embarrassed himself this time. However, what made his heart shake was the fact that the Pill Fairy's cultivation base was absolutely terrifying. He hadn't sensed her existence at all. It had to be known that within Pill Valley, his nerves were always stretched taut because he couldn't expose any holes. His spiritual perception was pushed to its peak constantly, but he still couldn't sense her. It was like the pill fairy had merged with heaven and earth. Standing there, she was like an ordinary mortal. He wasn't even able to sense her spiritual fluctuations or heavenly Tao energy. Long San, don't be nervous. I just have a few things I want to discuss with you. I heard that you came here to the inner sect. So I also came. I wasn't trying to eavesdrop on you. The pill fairy smiled. The smile was like a lily blooming, making him feel like a spring breeze was blowing by. Cough. That's fine. I still have to thank you for what you did last time, or I'd probably have been expelled from Pill Valley. There's a pavilion nearby. We can go and sit there. Long Chen pointed toward a distant pavilion. The pill fairy nodded and walked beside him. She gently pulled back some stray hair that had blown over her forehead. Her gentle movements contained a grace that moved Long Chen. 
Even though he had seen plenty of beauties, he still felt a unique aura from the Pill Fairy. The pavilion was situated at the peak of a hill. From here, they could overlook the river below them. The scenery was not bad. You don't need to be so courteous. Even if I didn't interfere, you would have been fine. Furthermore, you have such a powerful backer. No one would be able to expel you just for killing Kuchunshang. The pill fairy looked at the scenery, her eyes shining like stars in the night, yet also like gems in a deep sea. No matter how you put it, I still have to thank you. Long Chen smiled. I should be the one thanking you. When you killed Kuchunshang, you gave me an excuse to vent my dissatisfaction. I've been feeling much better since that day, said the pill fairy. Oh, then if you want to thank me, you can just treat me to a meal, joked Long Chen. The pill fairy smiled. She changed the subject. The methods you taught that girl were very marvelous. I didn't expect you to be such a master of the pill Dao. I can't accept such praise, said Long Chen modestly. But he knew she had more to say. With your spiritual strength, talent, and comprehension skills, you can walk even further on the pill Dao. In fact, your accomplishments wouldn't be any lower than my own. Transforming into a flame cultivator is digging your own grave, as expected. The pill fairy only got to her point now. Long Chen sighed. A person can't always do what they want. I'm just a country bumpkin with no background. Even you, the pill fairy who is worshipped by countless disciples, a godlike existence, also have a similar helpless expression. Some things are just out of our control. Long Chen had figured out the rough situation in Pill Valley and through their few encounters, he also had a basic understanding of this pill fairy, which was why he said what he said. A glimmer of sadness appeared in her beautiful eyes. She sighed. Long San, they're using you. Can you not tell? I can tell. But at least I have some value this way. That's a good thing. Now, I get whatever I want. What's so bad about it? Long Chen acted like he didn't understand. The pill fairy turned to stare into his eyes. Her eyes were completely calm, like the surface of a lake that could reflect anything. Ah, Pill Fairy, you shouldn't stare at me like this, or I'll be embarrassed Long San. You're a curious person. I can't see through you, but I know you're smart. They're using you now, but once you're no longer valuable to them, they'll toss you aside without a second thought. I won't ask you to join the Divine Shield Alliance, but I hope you can join the neutral faction and not help either side said the pill fairy. It's not possible. Protectors Huo supported me, and I swore I would repay him. Before repaying him, I can't leave him. In truth, when Long Chen said he had to repay him, he was thinking of something completely different. But the pill fairy didn't know this. She was silent for a moment before bitterly smiling. It seems I'm not good at persuading people. My first attempt is a failure. I know you're being kind, and I'll remember this. Ah. Speaking of which, can I ask you a few things? Asking is harmless then I want to ask. Why is your conservative faction so stubborn? Pill Valley clearly has the ability to grow even stronger. So why do they still cower? Asked Long Chen. You really know how to ask questions. Your first one is the most difficult one and the reason why Pill Valley is split into two factions. In truth, it's not that we're conservative but that certain people have forgotten the meaning behind Pill Valley's existence. Pill Valley is situated outside the rest of the world. It has its own mission, but some people are selfish and greedy and want to stretch their hands into this chaotic world. That's not the meaning behind Pill Valley's existence, and doing so would be very dangerous. It would influence the entire balance of the Martial Heaven continent, and Pill Valley might even be drawn into a cataclysm because of it. But sometimes, People simply refuse to be reasonable and see the truth. So this world is fraught with struggle. What could bring Pill Valley danger? Isn't Pill Valley the strongest power in the Martial Heaven continent? Asked Long Chen. Sorry, this relates to Pill Valley's secrets. So forgive me for not being able to answer, said the Pill Fairy. Long Chen's heart pounded. It seemed he still knew too little about the Martial Heaven continent. Something that could even threaten Pill Valley? What power was that? Or was it the danger zones? Many thanks. Although our standpoints aren't the same, I sincerely wish that we can be friends, said Long Chen. Who cared about helping Zhuo Xiangxiang? 
He had only come to get the Nirvana scripture. He had no intention of being enemies with the Pill Fairy, who was a kind and beautiful person. To be friends with Master Long San is the fortune of three lifetimes. The Pill Fairy found it funny to call him Master Long San. Cough. That name is just to intimidate some small fries, said Long Chen awkwardly. It's getting late. We should go back to the Divine Pill Hall together, said the Pill Fairy. Long Chen was startled. He immediately understood what she was intending. Being able to walk with the fairy is my blessing. Long Chen knew that the pill fairy was doing this to give a warning to Zhuo Xiang and the others. By walking with him, it would make Zhuo Xiang and the others nervous. It was also a kind of protection for him. It was telling Zhuo Xiang that if they did something to Long Chen, he would have a place on her side. If it was someone else doing this, Long Chen would definitely think they were trying to sow dissension. But he knew the pill fairy wouldn't do such a thing. He walked alongside her, talking and laughing on the way. Long Chen's mouth had plenty of tricks that could make a person laugh. Even the graceful and refined pill fairy couldn't stop laughing. Long San, Long Chen and the pill fairy had only just arrived in the divine pill hall and were about to part ways when a voice rang out. It was Jiang Zijin. Flames were about to spit out of his eyes as he glared at Long Chen. Long Chen shook his head. Knowing that this fellow's jealous nature was too strong, Long Chen hadn't even thought of such things with the pill fairy. He already had too many beauties, and he knew when to be satisfied. Long Chen didn't even look at him and returned to his residence. He saw Elder Ju was already waiting for him. It was unknown if he was worried about Long Chen switching sides or not, but he directly requested Long Chen to go into seclusion and continue cultivating flame magical arts. He was actually in a greater rush than Long Chen to strengthen his body. This delighted Long Chen, as it was a good thing. The earth flame essence he was absorbing to strengthen his body actually didn't affect his body at all. The essence was all absorbed by Huo Long. While he gradually released the power of his original physical body, it just looked like he was getting stronger from the earth flame essence. Elder Ju, this time, I want you to drown me with earth flame essence. I want to keep getting stronger so I can kill that bastard Jiang Zijin. I'll make the name Master Long San Shake Pill Valley. Long Chen directly lay in lava and let out a heaven-shaking roar. This lava was the earth flame essence, and was just what Huo Long needed. Four holes opened on the sides of the lava pool, and earth flame essence gushed out, truly drowning Long Chen. Flame runes revolved around Long Chen as he crazily absorbed the earth flame essence. Huo Long almost cried out in excitement. Previously, Long Chen had been refusing to let it absorb it too quickly. But now Long Chen let it devour as much as possible. The more the better. After three whole days, Long Chen had absorbed an ocean's worth of earth flame essence, completely sucking up every bit of Zhuo Xiangxiang's stock. What delighted Elder Ju was that when Long Chen was enveloped by his flame energy, a punch from the latter could make even the former cough up blood. Long Chen's monstrous physical body delighted Zhuo Xiangxiang and the others. Long Chen ended his seclusion, and the first thing he did was go to the inner sect to see that girl Wan Qing. However, just as he walked out, he suddenly saw a group of people bringing a lanky old man into Zhuo Xiangxiang's room. An icy light flashed in Long Chen's eyes. Chapter 1350 Xuan Jizi appears translator. Born to be Xuan Jizi. Although he only got a glance, Long Chen still recognized this bastard. He hadn't expected him to come to Pill Valley. According to his understanding, Li Xiangxuan had arranged for this bastard's true face to be exposed. He was like a rat others were trying to catch. However, he was very slippery, and as soon as things had turned sour for him, he had even abandoned the Grand Han Ancient Nation's Heavenly Fate Pavilion that he had worked so hard to build up. No one knew where he was hiding. It was like he had vanished from this world. Now seeing him, Long Chen had to admit that this bastard's heaven-peering arts were profound. If he managed to calculate that he was at Pill Valley, he would be doomed. In truth, Long Chen didn't know that Xuan Jizi didn't dare to directly calculate anything about him. In the past, all his calculations had always been toward the people around Long Chen which allowed him to infer Long Chen's general position and movements. That kind of inference couldn't even count as heaven-peering arts. 
It was more like a judgment of human nature. It was because of this that Xuan Jizi's calculations had gone awry at Devil Spirit Mountain when Li Xiangxuan had come. When it came to understanding the human heart, Xuan Jizi was a far cry from Li Xiangxuan. However, Long Chen didn't know this, and so he became apprehensive, not knowing what this old bastard was planning. He was lost in thought for a while and then suddenly laughed at himself. When had he become so stupid? If Xuan Jizi had come for him, the Nine Star Hegemon body art would have sensed his hostility just now. Since there was no reaction from the Nine Star Hegemon body art, it meant he wasn't targeting him. Long Chen didn't show any of this on his face and continued heading to the intersect but as he got close to Wan King's residence, his expression gradually became gloomy. Wan Qing was an inner disciple, and she didn't have her own residence. She lived in a shared immortal cave with dozens of other people. They all had their own rooms for secluded cultivation and alchemy. Right now, dozens of people were standing in front of the entrance, blocking Wan Qing outside. A pill furnace and various medicinal ingredients were scattered on the ground, clearly having been thrown out. Wan Qing was trembling and unable to hold back her tears, but she clenched her lips and refused to make a sound, silently gathering her things. Girl, if you want to die by joining that devil Long San, go by yourself and don't implicate us. Please find a different place to live, said a disciple frostily. The other disciples were also apathetic to her plight. They watched coldly as that small figure silently gathered the things on the ground. They didn't have the slightest sympathy. Instead, they seemed almost delighted. Tears streamed down Wan King's little face, but she refused to make a sound. Just as she was gathering her things, a pair of hands helped her pick them up. Seeing a pair of warm eyes looking at her, she immediately collapsed into Long Chen's embrace and began to bawl. It was like all her stored-up resentment could finally be released. Big brother, good job. A person must be strong and not lower their head to anyone. Long Chen rubbed her head comfortingly. His opinion of her grew after seeing how staunch she could be. His icy gaze swept over these disciples in front of the immortal cave. They were only at the Xi'anshan and Sea Expansion realms, and their hair immediately stood on end when he looked at them. They felt like the temperature in the air had dropped all of a sudden. It was like a butcher's blade was pointed against their heads. With just a thought from him, they would die. These disciples were alchemists, and some had never even fought against others. How could they possibly endure Long Chen's killing intent? The number of people he had killed in his life was something he couldn't even remember anymore. His killing intent was the result of him piling mountains of corpses from both the righteous and corrupt paths. Rivers of blood had flowed because of him, and this killing intent almost made those disciples faint. Some of them involuntarily knelt on the ground, terrified. They begged, Master Long San, it's not our fault. It was it was me. So what just at this moment, a group of people walked over. They were from the Divine Shield Alliance, and their leader was Jiang Zijin. However, the current Jiang Zijin no longer appeared as handsome as before. His previous calm air had been replaced with envy and killing intent. Seeing his current appearance, Wan Qing clutched Long Chen's arm and hid behind him, quivering. She had never seen such a scene before. Long Chen patted her gently, expressing that she didn't need to be afraid. He faced Jiang Zijin. Jiang Zijin, I always thought you were human. I didn't expect that I was so wrong. I overestimated you. Long Chen felt contempt for this person, who was the commander of the Divine Shield Alliance. His integrity was so lacking that he was even willing to target an innocent child. This person was an idiot. Jiang Zijin liked the pill fairy. This was common knowledge in Pill Valley. If he wanted to target Long Chen, he should have used brilliant and above-board tactics to beat him. How could he do such a thing? This would only make the pill fairy loathe him even more. Could it be that this Jiang Zijin had practiced alchemy to the point that the rest of his head had rotted? He was basically insane. No one had been able to convince him otherwise, and he had sent people to spy on Long Chen's actions. After hearing that he had formed a slight relationship with a girl, he had directly sent people to suppress her. Kicking her out of her home was his retaliation against Long Chen. Jiang Zijin had been consumed by his envy. No matter how big or small the matter was, as long as it could harm Long Chen in some way, he would do it. 
That was the only way for him to comfort himself. As for the consequences, he was no longer able to understand what those were. That was because he felt that if he didn't release his anger, he would go insane. Overestimated me? A country bumpkin like you isn't even qualified to look at me. You're only fit to crawl beneath my feet. Long San, there's always a price for angering me. Was Duan Shiang Kyo's death painful for you? He, I feel like this girl's also not bad. 13, 14 years old, that's about enough. Jiang Zijin looked at Wan Qing with a malicious light in his eyes that made her not dare to look back at him. Long Chen took a deep breath to adjust his mood. Ha ha ha, breathing deeply is useless. Long San, having offended me, just wait to be played to death. Jiang Zijin laughed maniacally. Long Chen ignored him. Instead, there was a question in his mind. Long Chen, are you still the old Long Chen? Long Chen slowly raised his left hand. A cold light flashed as a dagger cut across his palm. Fresh blood dripped out, condensing into a rune. Big brother, Wan Qing jumped and let out a startled cry. She didn't know what he was doing. A badge appeared in Long Chen's left hand. This was his badge which showed his status as part of the Divine Pill Hall. He moved it toward his left hand. This was the most sacred blood challenge amongst Pill Valley's disciples. Using one's essence blood as the oath, the rune represented that this fight was being witnessed by their gods. Once this battle started, no one in Pill Valley could stop it, not even the Valley Master. However, this blood oath could only be initiated by someone whose cultivation base was lower than the one they were challenging. Furthermore, the precondition was that they had irreconcilable conflicts between them. Once those conditions were met, the life and death stage would be opened. This life and death stage was extremely terrifying. There was a time limit of two hours. If both sides were still alive at that time, they would be killed by the formation. This blood challenge hadn't been initiated in Pill Valley in the past hundred years. As a result, all the people who knew what he was planning to do let out startled cries. Just as his badge was about to touch his blood rune. A jade hand lightly pressed against Long Chen's palm, shattering his blood rune. Pill Fairy. Unexpectedly, the Pill Fairy had come and destroyed Long Chen's blood rune, preventing the challenge. Why bother? You'd clearly be beaten and killed. So why let your emotions get the better of you? The Pill Fairy looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. Long Chen shook his head. You don't understand the world of men. Sometimes, despite knowing the result, you still have to do it. It's not for any other reason other than that we're men. With the underworld soul ghost curse, Long Chen was unable to bring out his true power. He couldn't use his divine ring or battle armor. Just relying on his flame energy, his chance of killing a rank 9 celestial like Jiang Zijin was less than 10%. Long Chen had noticed that after being afflicted by the underworld soul ghost curse, he was becoming more and more unfamiliar with himself. He was growing less confident in himself and even starting to lack the courage to risk his life. He had lost his old, sharp self. That Long Chen always charged forward without regard for anything. He needed to find himself again. So he had planned on forcing himself this time. Otherwise, even if he could cultivate the second volume of the Nirvana scripture, he would have lost his undefeatable Dao heart. In the end, he would still be crippled. That was the most frightening thing. Thus, he hadn't gotten angry or impetuous. He was forcing himself. Forcing away his cowardly side. He couldn't use the excuse of the underworld soul ghost curse to be a coward. Long San, you're a real warrior. The pill fairy smiled with admiration. This was a true expression of what she was thinking. Then turning toward the girl, she took one of her hands. Little sister, let's go. Big Sister will bring you to the Divine Pill Hall. I guarantee no one will bully you again. Chapter 1351 White Flame Translator Born to be you Kingsuan. Have you really fallen for this bumpkin? Why must you always go against me for him? Jiang Zijin let out a furious roar, his eyes about to explode into flames. Long Chen and the Pill Fairy were each holding one of Wang King's hands, as if they were a family. Jiang Zijin felt insane. Originally, he had been delighted to see Long Chen try to challenge him. He would finally get a chance to kill him. But this good thing had been ruined by the pill fairy. Jiang Zijin, you are no longer the old you. 
Your wild ambitions have inflated, and a shadow has been cast over your heart. The Divine Shield Alliance has also lost its old flavor, and I'm powerless to do anything about it. However, I have neither any intention of changing anything, nor am I intentionally going against you. What I'm doing is simply what I want to do. My heart will always be on the side of Pill Valley, so there's no logic in you saying I'm constantly going against you. Furthermore, your actions today have truly disappointed me. Get out of my way. The Pill Fairy shook her head at the sinister Jiang Zijin. The Pill Fairy had neither good nor bad feelings for Jiang Zijin. But after Long San had come, Jiang Zijin had changed, becoming foreign and loathsome to her. The matter of Ku Chunchen hounding Duan Xiang Kiao to death definitely had Jiang Zijin's shadow behind it. Now Jiang Zijin had even drawn in an innocent girl because of Long Chen. This was truly unacceptable. If they hadn't spent so many years on the same side, the Pill Fairy might really become furious with Jiang Zijin. His actions were just too vile. Long Chen, I'll kill you. All of this is your fault. Flames exploded from Jiang Zijin. But just at that moment, an icy cold white flame sword pressed against his neck. Jiang Zijin instantly stood still, and Long Chen was shocked. A sword had appeared in the Pill Fairy's hands. A sword condensed of white flame runes. The most shocking thing was that this flame, despite incinerating the air around it, contained a strange coldness to it. What is that? Long Chen had never seen such an earth flame. He didn't sense the slightest pressure from it, and yet his hair stood on end. It definitely posed a fatal danger to him. Regretfully, his pill sovereign memories didn't have any information about earth flames. King Xuan, I don't believe you dare to kill me. Jiang Zijin had a complicated expression as the pill fairy held her sword to his neck. His expression was one combined of anger, pain, and despair. I also don't know if I'll kill you, but if you continue to act like this, then sooner or later, a day when you die to my hands will come. A shadow has consumed your heart, and you've lost the reasoning a normal person should possess. I drew my sword today not to kill you, but to warn you, if you continue on this course, I won't hesitate next time. The white flame sword transformed into runes and merged back into the pill fairy's body. Let's go. The pill fairy pulled on Wan King's hand, and she pulled on Long Chen's hand. The three of them walked away, vanishing from everyone's sight. Bang. Jiang Zijin punched the ground, and a large hole appeared. Jiang Zijin's face was twisted. Long San, this is all your fault. Sooner or later, I'll crush you into pieces. Just wait. You won't get to be so pleased for long. The Pill Fairy's residence was a mountain dozens of miles wide. Pavilions dotted the land, while rock gardens and flowing water could be seen everywhere. It was delicate and refined. This was the Pill Fairy's private residence, a place no outsiders had ever come in. Long Chen and Wan Qing were her first guests. The dark night had descended by now, and the three of them were randomly chatting. In truth, Long Chen and the Pill Fairy were doing this for Wan Qing. They were afraid this little girl would be frightened by this foreign environment. Big brother, I'm a bit afraid. Wan Qing shook Long Chen's hand suddenly. Wan Qing, don't be afraid. With big sister Pill Fairy looking after you, no one would dare to bully you. A smart, talented, and hardworking child like you will definitely have great accomplishments in the future. Long Chen patted her head gently. The pill fairy also smiled, implying she didn't need to be afraid. But the girl shook her head. I'm not afraid for myself. I'm afraid for you. Jiang Zijin's so frightening. What if he kills you? Long Chen's heart warmed. He hadn't expected this girl to already be at the point of considering such things. She was actually worried for him. He patted his chest confidently. Don't worry, you should know that your big brother is the renowned master Long San. This is a secret, but in truth, your big brother has a supremely mysterious status. Long Chen put on a mysterious appearance. This girl was still a child, so she couldn't tell that he was just messing around. Wow, amazing. Big brother, tell me, what's your secret identity? She asked expectantly. Long Chen put on a show of struggling with indecision and then said, Fine, I'll tell you, but you can't tell anyone else. If my secret is exposed, it'll be bad for me. Yes, I won't tell anyone. Big Sister Pill Fairy won't tell anyone else either. Right. 
Wan Ching tugged the pill fairy's hand. Yes, I guarantee I'll keep it secret. The pill fairy was also very curious. Long San had another status? Long Chen sighed and looked up at the sky. With a hallowed light to his face, he said, In truth, millions and millions of years ago, this world once had a king divine race within it. They wandered the cosmos, traversing all the various worlds. They could pluck the stars and moon, and sever the ancients from the sky. Seeing Long Chen's solemn appearance, Wan Qing was full of worship. Even the pill fairy was drawn in by his story. They were the grandest warriors of the universe, fighting against the forces of evil to protect the entire star field's peace. They had a grand and resounding name, Warriors of the Starry Sky. And in truth, I, Long San, am the descendant of the Warriors of the Starry Sky. I don't know who my parents are but I know I was sent to this world to carry out my own mission. Yes, my divine mission is to protect this world's righteousness, to cleanse the world of its fighting, to defeat the strong and support the weak, to fight for the kind people of the world. Long Chen clenched his fist, looking like a divine emissary. The pill fairy looked from Long Chen's strange appearance to Wan Qing who was completely enraptured with his story. That worshipful light in her eyes made it so she couldn't hold back her laughter. After laughing, she immediately became embarrassed. Long Chen was clearly trying to amuse the girl, and her laughter immediately threw him off. Sorry, it was my bad. Please, Long San, you can continue with your story. The pill fairy contained her laughter. Long Chen was a bit embarrassed. Maybe he had bragged a bit too hard this time, but Wan Qing was still staring at him worshipfully, making him feel at ease. Big brother. Does that mean you descended from above the mortal world? Just like big sister pill fairy? No wonder you're both such good people. So you were gods. The little girl looked at him worshipfully. Cough. It's similar. But I'm not from the same race as the pill fairy. The pill fairy is specialized in refining pills. While I'm a warrior of the starry sky. The universe's number one warriors. Plucking the stars and moon isn't more difficult than raising a hand. If Jiang Zijin continues messing around and I get angry, I'll strap him to a shooting star and let him make wishes every day as he flies through the stars. Wan Qing was much more at ease upon hearing him put it this way. Long Chen didn't feel right having a child worry about him. Big brother, you're so amazing. Can I ask you something? The three of them were originally sitting on stone stools, but she suddenly jumped over and hugged Long Chen's neck, seeing her act so intimately with him. He smiled. If you want anything, just ask. Your big brother will definitely help you get it. If I can't, then your big sister Pill Fairy can definitely do it. Long Chen intentionally gave himself a way out by using the Peel Fairy. She couldn't help but smile, thinking that this Long San was a bit wicked. This is definitely something you can do, said Wan Ching. All right, tell me, big brother, can you pluck a shooting star for me? I also want to make wishes every day. Wan Qing reddened slightly and was nervous, afraid Long Chen would refuse. Ah, Long Chen's jaw dropped, and his face turned green. Sorry, I forgot to bring some refreshments. I'll get some fruit right now. The pill fairy quickly ran out of the room, but her trembling shoulders sold her out. If Pill Valley's disciples were to learn that he could make the always refined pill fairy laugh like this, they would definitely prostrate themselves toward him. Big brother, please. I really like shooting stars. And I really want one. Wan Ching begged. As expected, if you often walked by the river, your shoes would get wet sooner or later. After bragging and bragging and bragging, he had bragged himself to this point. Seeing her begging expression, how could Long Chen possibly refuse? However, he was unable to accomplish this wish of hers. But then, he suddenly had a clever thought. Wan Ching, you want a shooting star, but do you know the origin of shooting stars? Chapter 1352 Heaven Dragon Flame Region Translator Born to be I. I don't know. Wan Ching shook her head. The pill fairy now came back, holding a tray of fruit. She had recovered her calm, but Long Chen knew that she had gone out to get the fruit as an excuse. After all, she could have just retrieved some from a storage or life ring. There was no need to go to another room. The pill fairy placed the tray on a table, and using a handkerchief, she dried an apple-like fruit and handed it to Wan Ching. 
This fruit was an eighth-tier medicinal ingredient. After eating it, a person would feel completely refreshed. It was something that could be used to nourish the soul. Wang Qing clearly knew just how precious it was, and it took much cajoling and encouragement from the pill fairy for her to take it. On the other hand, Long Chen didn't stand on courtesy and instantly took a big bite as if it was his in the first place. The pill fairy smiled at this unruliness. It was like there were no rules that could restrict him. But this unruliness seemed innate and was not something dislikable. Instead, it made him seem sincere and trustworthy instead of pretentious. Long San, I'm also very curious about the origin of shooting stars. Can you tell us? The pill fairy picked up a crystalline grape and placed it in her mouth. She didn't know why, but when she was with him, it felt like there were no rules or etiquette that she had to follow. She could be carefree and chat naturally. In truth, you aren't aware of it, but the stars above our heads all have people living on them. Some experts control this star field, and those experts are the gods and immortals we talk about. According to my memories, shooting stars are instead called flying stars. They're huge stars in movement and are actually the same as our flying boats. Gods use these flying stars to travel. Pill Fairy, don't laugh. This is all true. The Pill Fairy was again unable to contain her laughter. But with her previous experience, she managed to stifle it. It was just that holding back was difficult. On the surface, it seemed possible that shooting stars were objects used to travel through the cosmos. After all... The speed at which they flew through space made it seem like they were used for travel. Seeing the pill fairy was quiet, Long Chen cleared his throat. However, Wang Qing, don't worry, I'm not strong enough right now, but once I become a true warrior of the starry sky, I promise to buy you a shooting star to play with. Shooting stars can be bought, Wang Qing asked in amazement. As long as it has substance, it has value and can be bought. Wang Qing actually believed Long Chen's nonsense and obediently nodded. But then she suddenly recalled that she hadn't finished her course work for today, and she hastily rushed off to study alchemy. The pill fairy was unable to bestow her with a disciple badge of the Divine Pill Hall. However, no one had the qualifications to prevent her from accepting a worker. That was because her status was so high. You really know how to talk nonsense. Even I almost believed it. When Wang Qing was gone and it was just the pill fairy and Long Chen, the pill fairy finally laughed. Yup, even I almost believed myself. Long Chen sighed. To be able to brag to the point where even you believed your bragging was also a kind of realm. Long San, you feel different compared to others. Being with you is interesting. With your humor, wit, and kindness, you should have many girls after you. Right, now that it was just the two of them. The atmosphere lightened. The pill fairy took out a jug of fruit wine and poured it into cups. I suppose. I have many beauties, but even more hot-blooded brothers. Long Chen raised the cup and smelled the fruit wine. It wasn't bad. He actually smelled something familiar about it. He realized that this familiarity reminded him of the wine god palace. It seemed that Pill Valley had managed to secretly learn a few things from the wine god palace from their cooperation back then. However, the true skills still rested with the wine god palace. Long Chen directly told the pill fairy the truth. After just their few interactions, he had surprisingly felt that he could completely trust the pill fairy. He didn't bother lying to cover his identity. The pill fairy stared at him, while Long Chen also surprised himself. The hand with which she was pouring the wine quivered, and her eyes contained shock, as well as gratitude. Thank you for trusting me. A faint redness appeared on her face. Long Chen quickly realized that the pill fairy had investigated the background of Long San. Considering the competition between the conservative faction and the radical faction, both sides definitely kept a tight watch over the other. The information behind Long San had probably been memorized by the pill fairy. This information was based on Zhuo Xiangxiang's investigation into Long Chen. According to his soul sark and investigation, Long San didn't have any friends or lovers. For Long Chen to say such a thing now, it was clear that he wasn't concealing anything from the pill fairy. Long Chen also didn't know why he would say such a thing. But unexpectedly, this ended up winning him the pill fairy's trust. The two of them ended up closer than before. It's strange for me to say this, but for some reason, 
When I first saw you, I felt a kind of familiarity with you. My intuition told me that you weren't a bad person, but you were hiding huge secrets. You should have your own goal in coming to Pill Valley. That's fine. I just hope you won't help them. I'm not saying that because of the conservative faction, but because of Pill Valley and the entire continent. Once they gain power, the entire world will be thrown into chaos, and a rain of blood will pour over the cultivation world. Long San, you're a good person. Otherwise, you would neither get vengeance for Duan Shiang Kiddo, help some random girl, nor entrust your life to someone you don't even know that well. I don't think that we'll be enemies. I'm not asking you to stand on my side, but please don't help them. That would put me in a difficult spot, implored the pill fairy. Under her beautiful eyes, even someone with a heart of steel would soften. Thank you as well. I truly do have my own goal here in Pill Valley, and I also don't want to be enemies with you. As for my relationship with them, I'll definitely have to give them an explanation. But I guarantee I won't make things hard on you, promised Long Chen. Long Chen felt that the Pill Fairy was a very kind person. She possessed her own terrifying martial might, but she didn't use that to bully the weak. Moreover, she didn't have the slightest arrogant attitude, compared to the beauty Dan Yangsu. Well, Dan Yangsu wasn't even qualified to be compared to her. The pill fairy possessed a natural charismatic air. Although Long Chen didn't agree to leave his faction, his promise still brightened her mood. A gentleman's words can be trusted. Let us clasp hands as our promise. The pill fairy extended a pure, jade-like hand. All right, while I'm no gentleman. I definitely won't break my promises. Long Chen also extended a hand. After lightly clasping hands, this oath was fully established. The pill fairy clearly became much more relaxed. Long San, if you have any difficulties, you can tell me. As long as I'm capable of it, I'll help you. Long Chen's heart began to pound. The pill fairy was Pill Valley's number one figure amongst the junior generation. Furthermore, her background was terrifying. Perhaps it really was possible for her. I won't hide the truth from you. What I want is to cultivate the second volume of the Nirvana scripture, said Long Chen. Perhaps he could reach his goal through the pill fairy instead of being used by Zhuo Xiang. To obtain the Nirvana scripture from Zhuo Xiang's side would be very difficult. He didn't even know how high his chances were of succeeding. He had always been worried about this. The pill fairy knitted her brows and frowned. I have cultivated the second volume of the Nirvana scripture, but I am unable to transmit it to you. Even if I betrayed the teachings of my ancestors and wanted to teach it to you, my cultivation base is not high enough to do so. Long Chen's heart sank. Even the pill fairy was powerless to help. Then it seemed it would be even more difficult than he had thought to obtain it from Zhuo Xiang. However, the pill fairy then said, but don't be disappointed. In just over a month, the Heaven Dragon Flame region will be opened. Once you enter the Heaven Dragon Flame region, you'll have a chance to come into contact with the second volume of the Nirvana scripture. The Heaven Dragon Flame region? What's that? Asked Long Chen. Delighted. The Heaven Dragon Flame region is Pill Valley's ancestral land. It is a corner of a broken world and a land of flames. There are Earth Flame spirit beasts roaming around and disciples are able to go and try to subdue them. This is a benefit given to disciples once every three years. However, only the top 300 disciples of the Divine Pill Hall and the top 500 of the Flame Divine Palace are qualified to enter, said the Pill Fairy. The Flame Divine Palace was something Long Chen knew about. Pill Valley had alchemists and flame cultivators. The Divine Pill Hall was for the best alchemists. While the Divine Flame Palace was where the flame cultivators gathered, Elder Ju came from the Flame Divine Palace. Within the depths of the Heaven Dragon Flame region is the Flame God Tablet. The second volume of the Nirvana scripture is inscribed on it. However, the tablet's immortal characters are different from the immortal characters most people are familiar with these days. I'm worried that even if you see it, you won't be able to understand what's written, said the Pill Fairy apologetically. Those characters on the tablet were incredibly difficult to understand. The second volume of the Nirvana scripture that Pill Valley used was a translation of that original inscription. But most likely, 
There was quite a bit of deviation between their translation and the original. The Heaven Dragon Flame region. Eh? I'll definitely have to take a look. Thank you, Pill Fairy. To thank you. How about I bring you out to play? Long Chen stood up, prepared to go back to cultivating. He merely tossed out a joke. All right. However, Long Chen's joke wasn't declined by the Pill Fairy. Unexpectedly, she agreed. Chapter 1353 Working Together with the Pill Fairy Translator Born to be in the outer regions of Pill Valley, there was a plaza near a river. This was a place where outer disciples would gather. These outer disciples that were geniuses in the outside world were only ordinary here. In the rest of the world, outer disciples weren't very useful. They mostly just used up resources. And when there were too many of them, the sects would kick out a few who had no potential. However, in Pill Valley, even outer disciples could bring them profit. That was because their cultivation relied on refining a large number of medicinal pills. Their profit made up for their consumption. So Pill Valley didn't kick out these outer disciples. Even if their talent was lacking compared to others, they were still alchemists. In fact, anyone who could enter Pill Valley was monstrously talented. But your status depended on just how much of a monster you were. These disciples had to refine pills to exchange for cultivation resources. And Pill Valley had many cultivation rooms with powerful formations that could assist them. However, those rooms weren't free for outer disciples. Outer disciples didn't even get a tenth of the benefits that inner disciples were blessed with. In fact, there were essentially no benefits. Everything they had was gained through them working hard on their alchemy. Some outer disciples would come to the outer regions of Pill Valley to gather medicinal ingredients. The outskirts of Pill Valley were mostly wild land, but this wild land was actually Pill Valley's medicinal garden. Other than a few special regions with people guarding them though, the rest was just wilderness. That was because some medicinal ingredients could only grow in the wild. If they were planted in a medicinal field, they might be affected by other ingredients, or their growth would be stunted, or they might simply outright die. So the outskirts of Pill Valley had quite a few precious medicines growing. Some were high tier, and some were low tier. Disciples could gather them based on their own requirements. The majority of the medicinal ingredients that disciples practiced their alchemy with were obtained through trading merit points with Pill Valley. Once they refined those medicinal ingredients into pills, they could exchange the pills for more merit points. It was the same as farmers working for landlords. The earth, seeds, and fertilizer all came from the landlord. If you worked hard and managed to grow the crops, then once the various costs were subtracted, you could still make some money. However, this money was based on your own success. Some people who failed too many refinements would even end up owing money. So there would always be a few disciples out gathering medicine. As long as they could gather some rare ones or ones that Pill Valley was currently lacking, they would make a bit of money. They could keep these medicinal ingredients or exchange them. It was very beneficial to everyone. As for this large plaza, it had become a place for outer disciples to trade their excess medicinal ingredients. There were all kinds of medicines displayed. Long Chen and the Pill Fairy were currently strolling through this plaza, but both of them had disguised their faces so others wouldn't be able to recognize them. If they didn't, it would cause a huge disturbance. Thank you, Long San. It's my first time being able to come out and have such a relaxed stroll. At this time, the Pill Fairy had made her face look ordinary and was wearing the robes of an outer disciple. However, her eyes were as enchanting as ever. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh emotionally inside. He had once said that different people had different hardships. Someone like the Pill Fairy, with a majestic status within Pill Valley, wasn't even able to go for a simple stroll. Just what was with this world? Everyone was envious of what others had while not caring about what they possessed themselves. They didn't realize that as they envied others, others also envied them. Through their chatting, Long Chen felt that the Pill Fairy was actually a very pitiable person. She lived under a spotlight, and under it, she had to live according to specific standards. She was unable to walk out of this spotlight or even learn what the outside world was like. As long as you want to, I'll accompany you at any time. Long Chen walked alongside the Pill Fairy smelling her specific fragrance. 
he felt a peaceful feeling in his heart. As they were walking, he suddenly paused because he saw a square melon. Hey, little fellow, is this melon of yours sweet? As soon as Long Chen said this, he regretted it, but it was too late. Scram. The disciple holding the melon immediately exploded in fury and walked off. Why was that person so rude? If you wanted to buy his melon, why would he get mad if you asked him if it is sweet? Wondered the pill fairy. It was my fault. That's a bitter melon. Long Chen looked at the pill fairy awkwardly. Only after speaking had he realized that this was a sixth tier medicinal ingredient. The earth and bitter melon. Something used to expel the accumulated internal heat that was stored up within alchemists. For him to ask if it was sweet or not was definitely asking to be cursed. The pill fairy looked at his embarrassed expression and couldn't help but laugh. It was a lovely sound, but it just made Long Chen even more embarrassed. That earth and bitter melon was strange. Some kind of mutation had to have occurred in it. Normally, they would be a light green color, but this one was dark green. Originally, Long Chen had been thinking about buying some snacks for Wan Ching, but instead he ended up in such an awkward position. Are your violet jade cherries sweet? Long Chen pointed to a pile of cherries on a vendor's booth. They are. Can I taste one? No. That vendor's reply was extremely direct. Hey, if I don't try one, how will I know if it's sweet or not? These violet jade cherries are very precious. I'll taste one and you can use my expression to judge whether they're sweet or not, replied the vendor coldly. So, this fellow thought he could compete with him? This was Long Chen's first time running into such an opponent. The pill fairy stood to the side as Long Chen began to stubbornly argue with the vendor until they were both red in the face. She found it funny, but she also felt that this way of living was more authentic. No one had misjivings about her due to her status. She felt an unprecedented relaxed feeling. Then as Long Chen began to argue with the vendor over whether the violet jade cherries were sweet or not for an incense stick's worth of time, she became speechless. One side had to have a taste of one, while the other refused. HMPH, you won't let me taste one? Fine, I just won't buy any. What's so amazing about them? I have plenty of money, and I'll just spend it on even better stuff, raged Long Chen. He hadn't even managed to swindle away a single cherry. Could it be that his conning divine ability had declined by so much? HMPH. Is having money amazing? I have plenty of good stuff here. If you won't buy them, someone else will. Oh, you have white eye lotuses? Those aren't bad. How much for one pound? Long Chen suddenly turned toward another one of the other vendor's wares. 30 for one pound. The 30 he mentioned was merit points. 30? That's too expensive. Can it be cheaper? Long Chen directly began to bargain. The pill fairy was startled. These lotuses weren't actually expensive. They could be easily gained from Pill Valley, and their quality would be greater than what was sold here. She didn't know what he was doing. One pound for thirty. Two pounds for fifty. The more you want, the greater the discount. It seemed this vendor wasn't so easily angered. He still conducted his business properly. All right. Pack some more, 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 come on, I don't want to keep asking, how much do you want? The bag's full, keep packing until the discount's 100%, bastard, you're just wasting my time. Finally, the disciple snapped, he charged out at Long Chen while picking up a cane from the ground. Long Chen pulled the pill fairy away with him as he fled, he didn't know how far he ran, but the plaza had long since vanished behind them. The enraged disciple was easily thrown off. Long Chen and the pill fairy arrived at a secluded forest path, and the pill fairy was shaking with laughter. This Long San was truly evil. However, she didn't feel any loathing for this. While Long San was domineering on the surface, he didn't use his power to bully the weak. Even when he had been cursed and chased away by a Xi'anshan realm disciple, he had just laughed and fled. The pill fairy had never seen such a person in Pill Valley. The pill fairy's face suddenly reddened and she pulled her hand out of Long Chen's grasp. Just now, it had been Long Chen who had pulled her away. She hadn't noticed before, but now that she did, her heart pounded. However, she found that Long San didn't react to this. There wasn't the slightest malice in his eyes. They were completely calm. It was as if they had held hands like two children playing around. Oh. 
Long Chen and the Pill Fairy suddenly noticed a group of people walking in the distance. Seeing one of those figures, Long Chen's eyes narrowed. It's Xuan Jizi, said the Pill Fairy. Long Chen was startled. You know him. A faint disgust appeared in the Pill Fairy's eyes. This person is extremely evil. He has harmed countless geniuses, and his sins are irredeemable. Now he's running from the rest of the world like a mouse. I heard he was chased down until he vanished without a trace. But I didn't expect Protectors Huo to find him. Since he is someone from Heavenly Fate Island, his ability to read the heavens is extremely powerful. A determined expression suddenly wiped away her worry. Long San, can I trust you? Well, I suppose. I'm quite reliable, said Long Chen vaguely, not quite sure what she was planning. I want to kill Xuan Jizi. Can you help? What? Chapter 1354 The Terrifying Pill Fairy Translator Born to be Xuan Jizi hadn't had a good time in the past few weeks. Every few days, he would have to switch locations. No matter where he went, his calculations said that he was surrounded by danger. The thing that worried him the most was that he was unable to pinpoint the origin of this danger. That was the most terrifying part of it. For Xuan Jizi to be unable to calculate the origin of the danger meant there were two possibilities. One was that his opponent's cultivation base far surpassed his own, at least by a major realm. But the entire continent didn't even have that many people on that level, and someone like him wasn't qualified to draw their attention. The second possibility was that his opponent had some kind of divine item screening from the heavens, making him unable to determine their existence. Previously, Xuan Jizi had exposed the fact that he had harmed many geniuses by placing a curse on them. Countless experts were now chasing him. Although he could use his powerful heavenly fate arts to avoid those people, he had to pass his days in fear of being caught. One day, he suddenly managed to calculate a ray of hope for himself. He managed to go to the Pill Tower and through the Pill Tower, he was sent to Pill Valley. Originally, Xuan Jizi had thought that he could peacefully cultivate after arriving at Pill Valley. But then Zhuo Xiang had appeared and asked him if he wanted to join Pill Valley. Xuan Jizi naturally wouldn't refuse such a good thing. He had been sent back to the Pill Tower and secretly set up as the Vice Tower Master. He was to assist in uniting the Eastern Xuan region's powers. That had disappointed him a bit. He had come to Pill Valley in order to find a peaceful place. But he was sent back to the Eastern Xuan region instead. That also wasn't bad. At the very least. He could hide all day in the pill tower and didn't need to worry about his enemies finding him. It was safe. However, for some unknown reason, when he arrived at the pill tower, he felt uneasy as if danger was about to descend upon him. Yet, no matter how he calculated things, he was unable to find anything strange. Stop. Just as Xuan Jizi left one of Pill Valley's transportation formations and was on the path to the next transportation formation. A disciple wearing the Divine Pill Hall's robes blocked his path. Xuan Jizi was startled. Before he could speak, that disciple demanded, Are you Xuan Jizi? Yes, this old man is Xuan Jizi. Xuan Jizi was a bit vexed that a little disciple would call him so directly. But he endured it, as this was Pill Valley. HMPH. Old man? Can you count as an old man if you spent all your years living a dog's life? Said that disciple disdainfully. You. Shut up. I'm the one who feels that this is a pain. I was happily cultivating when I was sent to give a message to you. You old bastard. My luck really is shit. Protectors who wanted me to send this to you. Hey. What are you glaring at me for? Are you going to take it or not? HMPH. Do you need to be slapped to wake up? The disciple took out a small case. He was in the midst of handing it to Xuan Jizi when he saw Xuan Jizi glaring at him furiously. Enraged, the disciple sent a slap at his face. Brat, you're asking for it. Xuan Jizi was completely infuriated. Even Zhuo Xiangxiang hadn't been this rude to him, but this brat was brazen enough to dare to slap him. He extended a hand to catch the disciple's arm, intending to twist it off. Although he didn't dare to kill Pill Valley's disciples, especially not disciples from the Divine Pill Hall, giving them a lesson was fine. However, just as he was twisting that disciple's arm, he suddenly found that it was harder than steel, unable to be moved at all. Instead, 
It was his own hand that twitched in pain from the effort. Bastard. You. Just at this moment, Xuan Jizi saw a strange smile on the disciple's face. A hand pierced toward his heart as quick as lightning. It happened so suddenly and at such a close distance that Xuan Jizi couldn't react. The disciple's hand pierced through his chest. Only now did Xuan Jizi realize that this disciple actually wanted to kill him. He roared furiously. His aura erupted. However, just at this moment, all of his heavenly Tao energy was sucked dry. At the same time, a sharp sword slashed toward his neck. The sword easily pierced his neck, but no blood splashed. The blood seemed to have been frozen by some strange energy. You. Xuan Jizi's head was flying into the air. He just managed to see a long-haired woman. Sorry. Divine flame slaughters devils. The pill fairy swung her white sword. Thousands of sword images filled the air, destroying Xuan Jizi's head and soul. Long Chen jumped in shock. The pill fairy's core flame was actually so terrifying. She killed a life star expert so easily. Flames also swept out of Long Chen's hands, incinerating Xuan Jizi's body. After cleaning up the battlefield, the two of them immediately left. In just a few breaths time, a life star expert had been slain. The two of them rushed away and found a secluded area hundreds of miles away. They sat down and took a breather. At this time, the pill fairy and Long Chen returned to their original appearances. Thank you. Without your cooperation, I wouldn't have been able to kill him, let alone kill him without leaving a trace. The pill fairy had now returned to her original appearance, and her smile was like a flower blooming. At such a close distance, this smile made Long Chen's heart pound. He hastily said, it was just a bit of help. The main thing is I found that old fellow displeasing. He definitely wasn't a good person. Killing him was as refreshing as killing one of my personal enemies. How could it not be refreshing? Xuan Jizi hadn't even known what was going on as he had died. However, Long Chen was deeply shaken by the pill fairy's power. He didn't know what technique she had used to strip Xuan Jizi of his heavenly Tao energy. Without that ability they wouldn't have been able to kill him. It had to be known that even for a rank 9 celestial, to suppress a life star expert while at the Jade Core realm was essentially impossible. But the pill fairy had done it. Furthermore, her flame had been extremely strange. The sword condensed from her flame looked completely solid. If it didn't possess the specific smell of raging flames, Long Chen would have thought that her sword was a real weapon. In truth, even without me, you would have been able to kill him said Long Chen. That's not possible. If you hadn't trapped him, I would have ended up empty-handed. Without killing him in one blow, he would run, and I wouldn't be able to stop him. The pill fairy shook her head. Long Chen's heart shook. He had just been testing her, but her reply truly shocked him. Clearly, the pill fairy had the ability to defeat life star experts. It was just that she wouldn't be able to keep them from running. Why are you staring at me like that? Are you shocked? The pill fairy smiled at Long Chen's shocked appearance. I was just thinking, if there comes a day when we have a falling out, will you eliminate me just as easily? It seems I don't have the ability to defeat you. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Now he was really worried. What if the pill fairy learned of his true identity? She would definitely be a terrifying opponent. Killing him probably wouldn't be harder than killing a chicken for her as she was an existence that could defeat life star experts. That was truly terrifying. What nonsense. We. We're friends. Why would we fight? The pill fairy reddened and looked away. That was because the way Long Chen had put it sounded like he had been asking what would happen if they broke up. After a moment, that redness faded and the pill fairy said, Xuan Jizi was too evil. If he was used by them, he would cause endless trouble. So I had no choice but to take the risk to kill him. But to you, Long San, this is great trouble. If they learn what you have done, things won't be good for you. It'd be better for you to stay with me. At the very least, you'll be safe. Then suddenly thinking of something, the pill fairy hastily said, Ah, but don't misunderstand. I wasn't intentionally trying to cause trouble for you. I won't tell anyone. You're overthinking it. Since I trust you. I will trust you fully. Long Chen smiled. Thank you for your trust. I, Yu Kingsuan, promise I won't betray that trust. The pill fairy was very moved. Within Pill Valley, trust was something rarely seen. 
I can't leave Zhuo Xiang Xiang yet, but I promise that when both sides start fighting, I will stand on your side. The two of them chatted for a bit longer. When Long Chen asked what the pill fairy's flame was, she didn't hide it from him. She told him that it was a kind of bloodline divine flame. It was not an earth flame, but a flame that was transmitted through her bloodline. As her cultivation base increased, it would grow stronger and she would awaken innate abilities. It was a special inheritance. It was also now that Long Chen learned a thing that dumbfounded him. Yu Kingsuan was actually the daughter of the Valley Master. This news shocked him even more than her flame. How old is your father? Asked Long Chen. 2147 years old. He, seeing your shock, it seems that you don't know. The higher the cultivation bases of the parents, the purer the bloodline of their children, and the more divine abilities can be transmitted through their bloodline. The pill fairy giggled at Long Chen's shock. Now she didn't appear to be an aloof fairy, but an ordinary girl. Admirable Long Chen was only able to make such an appraisal. He immediately had an urge to slap himself in the face. He had said something so cheeky. Fortunately, the pill fairy hadn't realized what Long Chen was admiring, and she thought he was admiring the purity of her bloodline. The two of them chatted for a bit longer before stealthily returning to the divine pill hall, acting rudely. He went right up to Elder Ju and clapped his shoulder, demanding, I want to attack the Jade Core Realm, so I need a huge amount of Yuan spiritual energy. Prepare it for me right now, immediately, at this moment, instantly. Chapter 1355 Not Leaving a Single Drop Translator Born to be Long San, this is my final warning. Don't treat me as an errand boy. Elder Ju was infuriated. His eyes were scarlet. Ever since he had taken over Long San, Long San had treated him like a dog, shouting at him to do this and do that. Now, he finally lost his temper. Elder Ju had originally been working hard to look after Long San because of his desire to become a tower master. Long San was his hope of soaring in the future. He had looked after Long San even better than he looked after his father. But Long San's attitude was absolutely infuriating. He actually treated him as an errand boy. He always shouted orders at him. Although he knew this was a result of Long San's confidence inflating and the signs of a heart devil. And he did his best not to care. He had finally reached his limit. This is Pill Valley's Yuan Spirit Divine Pool. Go inside and absorb as much as you want. Once you're done, you can scram. No one is here to look after you. I'm not waiting for you today. Roared Elder Ju furiously after bringing Long Chen to a room. He slammed the stone door behind him and left. Long Chen stared at him dumbfoundedly. What was with this old man? Hadn't they been getting along perfectly well before? Could it be that he hadn't performed well in his dual cultivation last night? This place was under Pill Valley, and there was a deep pool thousands of meters long here. The pool was completely full, containing a terrifying amount of Yuan spiritual energy. This was one of Pill Valley's Yuan Spirit Divine Pools, and this liquid was Yuan Spirit Divine Elixir. The Foundation Forging Disciples could absorb it to establish their immortal platforms. This Yuan Spirit Divine Elixir had been accumulating for countless years. A formation at the bottom of the pool extracted Heaven and Earth's Yuan Spiritual Energy to form it. In truth, this Yuan Spirit Divine Elixir was not as pure as the energy within Yuan Spirit Stones. After all, Yuan Spirit Stones were natural treasures. While this Yuan Spirit Divine Elixir was artificial, Pill Valley's disciples didn't care too much about cultivation base, and Foundation Forging disciples in Pill Valley actually worried about their cultivation bases rising too quickly, so they never used this Yuan Spirit Divine Elixir. So while this pool might be a priceless treasure to the outside world sects, it was essentially useless to Pill Valley. If Pill Valley wasn't already so wealthy, they would just sell this off. Just the money they would get from this Yuan Spirit Divine Pool was enough to drown others. Not bad. It's like this place was specifically prepared for me. Long Chen jumped right into the pool. He found that the pool was several miles deep, and a huge formation at its bottom was drawing energy from the world and into the pool. Buzz. The four Qi Seas and 108,000 immortal platforms in Long Chen's body began to revolve. Flame energy enveloped his body and began to crazily absorb the Yuan spiritual energy around him. 
If Long Chen used the Divine Ring, his absorption would be much faster, but with the curse, he could only use his flame energy to absorb the Yuan spiritual energy. Chanting appeared. As he used the Nirvana scripture, a blood-colored ring appeared behind him. That was his attempt at using his flame energy to mimic his divine ring. The Yuan spirit divine elixir here was not water and wasn't affected by this ring of fire. The ring of fire began to revolve. Although it wasn't as effective as the real divine ring, it was still effective. Like a gaping maw devouring the Yuan spirit divine elixir. The energy was then absorbed by his 108,000 immortal platforms. Long Chen's body began to shine and emit a sacred air. Elder Ju had left furiously and simply sent a few people to guard the entrance, not allowing anyone to disturb Long Chen. He didn't realize that his furious departure only benefited Long Chen. The huge pool began to descend at a rate visible to the naked eye. Boom. Long Chen's immortal platform shook and once more rose a level. Huge waves raged in the pool. Haha, <laughs> the tenth of vestige. Long Chen was delighted, but in an instant, his expression changed. After reaching the tenth of vestige, he found that circulating his immortal platforms caused his meridians to swell slightly. It seems my physical body still isn't strong enough. It can't bear the power of my 108,000 immortal platforms. Well, I can't be bothered. In any case, I can't use my divine ring or battle armor either. I'll just have to be a flame cultivator for now. Long Chen couldn't be bothered with the problem of his physical body right now. He continued to absorb energy. After reaching the tenth of stage, his rate of absorption also increased. The Yuan spirit divine pool was dropping rapidly. Now it was dropping foot by foot. Boom. Long Chen's body shook once more as he reached the eleventh of stage. Although Long Chen didn't circulate the power of his immortal platforms intentionally, they activated on their own when he advanced. Despite his best effort to control it, a burst of pain still came from his meridians. It was like millions of needles were stabbing them. Long Chen didn't give a damn. Clenching his teeth, he continued to absorb energy. He didn't even know how terrifying the energy in his immortal platforms was now, but he knew that even without the underworld soul ghost curse, his body wouldn't be able to bear using it. His immortal platforms were different from other people's. The runes in his body contained two kinds of energy. One energy supported his physical body, while the other was similar to the energy of his GCs. These two energies supported each other and could unleash immense energy combined. However, right now, he couldn't use the first energy since his physical body couldn't bear it. He could only use the second. Boom. After an unknown amount of time, the water level drastically sank once more. Long Chen coughed up blood multiple times as cracks appeared on his body. Fuck. How dangerous. I almost exploded. Long Chen had almost exploded from the power of his immortal platforms when he advanced to the 12th heaven stage. There had been no way to control them. His originally cylindrical immortal platform suddenly compressed, shrinking one whole level. When his pillar-like immortal platforms were compressed, they suddenly unleashed a terrifying wave of energy that almost killed him. It seems I really went a bit too far this time. If I died like this, I wouldn't even have a place to cry. Long Chen shivered thinking about what had just happened, but he had managed to survive it and he continued to absorb energy. Elder Ju waited three days. But he didn't see Long San come out. He became impatient. According to reason, Long San should have come out in just a day. After all, his cultivation base was already at the ninth vestige of foundation forging. To absorb the Yuan Spirit Divine Elixir to reach the great circle of foundation forging shouldn't take so long. However, he refused to go inside to get Long San because he felt that Long San was very likely trying to play a trick on him. He had previously said that Long San should come out on his own and that no one was serving him. If he went in to get Long San, he would be slapping himself in the face and mocked by Long San. Elder Ju had had his own goal in shouting at Long San. Long San's ego had inflated dangerously, and he needed to be taught a lesson. However, three days were too long. Just as Elder Ju was hesitating over whether or not Long San was doing this on purpose, an explosive sound came from within and the ground violently shook. He immediately rushed in without bothering about his previous worries. When he opened the stone door and looked inside, 
He couldn't believe his eyes. Protectors Huo. Bad news. What happened? Elder Ju nervously ran into Zhuo Xiang Xiang's room, reporting to Protectors Huo. Long San. He. He absorbed all the Yuan Spirit Divine Elixir. Elder Zhu's voice quivered. He knew that the Yuan Spirit Divine Pool wasn't very important to Pill Valley's disciples, but it was still a huge amount of wealth. What nonsense. That's impossible. Zhuo Xiang Xiang was enraged. The Yuan Spirit Divine Elixir had been accumulating for over a hundred thousand years. Even a million foundation forging disciples wouldn't be able to absorb it all. It's true. I personally saw it. That Long San absorbed all of it, not leaving even a single drop. Elder Ju had an urge to cry. When he had charged in, he had managed to see Long San absorb the remaining bit. He had personally witnessed the final dregs entering his body. This is impossible. That bastard must have stolen it secretly. There's really no saving this idiot. Zhuo Xiang Xiang sneered. Even if he was beaten to death, he wouldn't believe that a single person could absorb the stock that Pill Valley had been accumulating for over a hundred thousand years. That's possible. But then what should we do? How could that bastard do something so stupid? Elder Ju hesitated. It was true that this was a possibility. Perhaps Long San had stolen most of the elixir before making a disturbance to draw him in. Also that he could witness Long San absorbing the final bit. However, how could Long San do something so stupid? Was he an idiot? Do you want me to do a body search and add some torture? A vicious light appeared in Elder Zhu's eyes. He hated Long San and wished that he could properly torment him. No need. Long San has completely fallen under his heart devil and turned into an idiot. His path is completely different from others. When you go back, seal the divine pool and prohibit others from entering. If disciples need to enter, say the formation needs to be repaired and that they should come later. We won't say a word for now. Let that idiot prance about. But once he has done his job in the heaven dragon flame region, we'll eliminate him. He won't be able to get away with any of Pill Valley's things. Teach him powerful flame magical arts especially moves that exchange injury for injury. Suicidal moves would be the best. Also prepare a nine revolution raging flame explosion pill for him, but don't tell him the name of the pill. Just say that once he consumes it, his power will multiply by several times, said Zhuo Xiang Xiang. Yes, disciple will live up to your expectations. Elder Ju smiled sinisterly. That nine revolution raging flame explosion pill would allow a person's power to crazily soar, but once its medicinal effect passed, the consumer would only have an incense stick's time left to enjoy their life. Thinking of how long San would definitely die made Elder Ju feel much happier. Chapter 1356 The Great Circle of Foundation Forging Translator Born to be Long Chen had absorbed every last drop of the Yuan Spirit Divine Pool allowing him to finally reach the peak of the 12th heaven stage of foundation forging. He was just one step away from the Jade Core Realm. At this time, his 108,000 immortal platforms were once more compressed by some energy, turning into spheres. These spheres were covered in his original runes. This was something that occurred when normal cultivators attacked the Jade Core Realm. Their immortal platforms would turn spherical as they prepared to condense the Divine Core. Right now, the only thing remaining for him to do was to strip off his original runes. Then he could step into the Jade Core Realm. These runes were like a layer of protection for the energy inside. Once they were stripped off, through the baptism of lightning, his divine core would truly form. Right now, Long Chen was at the Great Circle of Foundation Forging and could also count as being at the Half-Step Jade Core Realm. But at the same time as he was delighted over this, he was also filled with horror. That horror was directed at the amount of energy contained in his immortal platforms. Right now, he was like a vase packed with 108,000 bombs. Once one detonated, his body would no longer exist. Despite his previous experience, he had underestimated the final three heavenstage of the nine-star hegemon body art. Each advancement had increased the power of his immortal platforms by ten times. Right now, even just extracting their energy and turning it into flame energy had to be done carefully. Accidentally drawing a bit too much would cause him to explode. Long Chen had never felt such reverence for the nine-star hegemon body art. 
This cultivation technique was definitely unrivaled in this world. Long Chen left the Yuan Spirit Divine Pool. He went into seclusion for more than half a month before finally getting accustomed to his new body. He could now extract the spiritual Yuan in his immortal platforms and transform it into flame energy without worrying so much about exploding. The amount of flame energy he could produce now was essentially endless. Right now, he could only be a complete flame cultivator and couldn't use the power of his physical body. He couldn't use his true power to fight. The thing that made Long Chen curious was that contrary to what he had expected, Zhuo Xiangxiang's furious reprisal never came. He never came to demand if he had stolen the Yuan Spirit Divine Elixir. Elder Ju never brought it up as if it had never happened. At first, Long Chen found this very strange, but then he realized Zhuo Xiangxiang was truly planning on using him as a one time use killing tool. After his seclusion, Elder Ju directly tossed Long Chen into the Divine Pill Pavilion and selected several sinister and ruthless techniques for him to train in. Long Chen acted obedient and learned them. With his powerful soul energy and control, learning these techniques was easy, and Elder Ju was satisfied by his display. However, neither Elder Ju nor Zhuo Xiangxiang decided to make Long Chen go through his tribulation. There wasn't enough time. The Heaven Dragon Flame region would be opened in just a few days. With Zhuo Xiangxiang's efforts, Long Chen didn't even have to go through a test to receive a spot to enter the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Another disciple gave him their spot. On this day, when Long Chen finally left seclusion, Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and the rest of the core of the Divine Spear Alliance had already gathered. Let's go. We were only waiting for you, said Dan Yangsu indifferently. Long Chen smiled. Neither Dan Yangsu nor Kan Dongs truly cared about him. In their eyes, he was just a chess piece. Long San, remember to look after yourself once you enter the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Remember, safety first. Don't harm others. Every person's life is a gift from their father and mother. We don't provoke people, but we aren't afraid of others. If someone wants to kill you, you don't need to stand on courtesy. Even if you kill them in retaliation, you have our Divine Spear Alliance behind you. Furthermore, you are a Grand Elder's final apprentice. Don't lose face for your fallen master. Kan Dong's patted Long Chen on the shoulder solemnly. I don't need your reminder. I'll kill anyone who provokes me. Of course, that includes that idiot Jiang Zijin. I'm now so strong that I can kill anyone, said Long Chen arrogantly. Kan Dong's was startled. Long San was truly brazen to not even place Jiang Zijin in his eyes. That was pure suicide. Was a rank 9 celestial really someone he could handle? However, he didn't say this and nodded instead. Excellent. That's the right attitude. Protector Zhuo has given you a few missions. He wants you to eliminate a few people. Kan Dongs didn't speak this time, but instead sent him a spiritual message along with a jade tile. Long Chen's divine sense swept through the jade tile. He disdainfully said, Is he looking down on me? Are these insects worthy of me personally killing? There were dozens of names on the jade tile, and there were also recordings of their appearance so he would be able to know who they were. These people were all foundation forging disciples, so their cultivation bases weren't particularly high, but they were all alchemy geniuses and had high positions in the Divine Shield Alliance. Zhuo Xiangxiang wanted him to assassinate these geniuses. Once these geniuses were dead, the Divine Shield Alliance would be heavily injured. The Divine Spear Alliance would go from having a disadvantage in terms of alchemy geniuses to an absolute advantage. With the power Long Chen had displayed, killing these people would be very easy. That was why Long Chen intentionally expressed his disdain. It'd be best if you took this seriously. If you fail. Don't even think about continuing to live happily in Pill Valley. But if you do a good job, your prospects in Pill Valley will be limitless. Don't joke about this, warned Kan Dongs. He had no choice but to give Long San a warning, because he really was worried about Long San treating his words as nothing more than a fart and ruining this matter. Stop worrying. I'm not trash like these people. Speaking of which, it'd be no problem for me to kill a few more people than just the ones on the list. Right? There are many people in the opposing faction that I find very displeasing, said Long Chen. Hearing this, 
Kondongs's eyes brightened for a moment before he concealed it. Originally, he had been worried that Long San wouldn't dare to kill people, but now it seemed that he didn't need to give him any more encouragement. Kill them as you please. The more you kill, the greater your reward, said Kondong spiritually. He then opened his mouth to say, Remember, you are a member of the Divine Spear Alliance. No one can provoke us. Long Chen nodded, a smile on his face. He was clear on this matter. Zhuo Xiangxiang had raised him just for this one usage. Once the Heaven Dragon Flame region closed, even if he came out alive, he'd probably be executed. At that time, he'd say that Long San had gone crazy and indiscriminately killed people in the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Then he'd find an excuse to kill him so that no one could testify. However, Long Chen truly felt that this plan was laughable. Even if he was executed, could the deaths of so many disciples really be made up for with just his death? Furthermore, the one who had drawn him into Pill Valley and raised him, Zhuo Xiangxiang, would have a 90% chance of being offered as a sacrifice because of those deaths. Long Chen really couldn't tell just what Zhuo Xiangxiang was thinking. With how crafty he was, he wouldn't sow something so foolish. Did he have some way to escape his punishment? He couldn't quite figure it out, but he couldn't be bothered to waste the energy to think about it. That problem wasn't important. He hadn't expected Zhuo Xiangxiang to sacrifice him so soon, so he had to think of a way to get out of it. Just as he was pondering this, they arrived at a transportation formation within Pill Valley. The Divine Shield Alliance's disciples were already waiting. The Divine Shield Alliance's disciples stared coldly at them. Their hostility was clear. Senior Apprentice Brother Zijin, it's been a while. You look as suave as ever. Oh, how come the Pill Fairy hasn't come? Kondongs pretended to exclaim in shock. Due to Wan Qing and Long San, the Pill Fairy had become hostile with Jiang Zijin and it had reached the point that the Pill Fairy had stopped caring about the Divine Shield Alliance. This was something everyone in Pill Valley knew, so it was clear Kondongs was mocking him. Jiang Zijin's face was ashen. He coldly said, You don't have to worry about it. If you have the energy, you should instead focus on increasing the alchemy ability of your Divine Spear Alliance. Each time there's a trial, aren't you always miserably defeated? Kondongs merely smiled and didn't argue against this. The main thing was that there was no way to argue. The Divine Shield Alliance truly suppressed them in terms of alchemy. Long San, let me introduce you. This is the Grand Jiang Zijin, the Divine Shield Alliance's master. He's a hero amongst men. You two should get to know each other. Chortled Kondongs as he pushed Long Chen forward. Kondongs was truly sinister. Despite clearly knowing Jiang Zijin hated Long Chen to the bone, he intentionally brought him out as bait while acting like he didn't know of their relationship. TCH. Someone like him isn't qualified to exchange words with me. It'd be better for me to keep a low profile. Long Chen shook his head and didn't even look at Jiang Zijin. Low profile. Whether they were from the Divine Shield Alliance or the Divine Spear Alliance, the disciples were all united in their speechlessness. If Long San had kept a low profile, then there was no one in the world who had kept a high profile. Although he knew that Kondongs was intentionally trying to infuriate him, Jiang Zijin wasn't able to help himself. His fury soared. Long San, you better watch out. I'll teach you a lesson in the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Long Chen sighed inside. This Jiang Zijin was definitely an idiot. What Kondongs wanted was precisely for him to say this. But he still didn't realize. He couldn't help but feel regretful. Without the Pill Fairy, the Divine Shield Alliance led by Jiang Zijin wouldn't be able to last for long before being wiped out. Just as Jiang Zijin was threatening Long Chen, Kondongs and Dan Yangsu exchanged a glance. Both of them saw the other's hidden smile. Long Chen suddenly felt a sense of alarm. No wonder he had felt that his calculations had gone awry. Could the true people that wanted to set him up be these two and not Zhuo Xiangxiang? Just at this moment, everyone turned silent, and a group of people slowly walked over. The one at the front was the peerless beauty, the pill fairy in her pure white dress. Chapter 1357 Entering the Heaven Dragon Flame Region Translator Born to be the pill fairy walked gracefully over, despite having seen her before. 
Many of these disciples had their breath taken away by her. All the men stared worshipfully at this unmatched beauty. The group the Pill Fairy had come with consisted of neutral disciples within the Divine Pill Hall. For her to come with them expressed that she had fully cut ties with the Divine Shield Alliance. That made the Divine Shield Alliance's disciples sigh ruefully. Dan Yangsu's gaze became much sharper. She was also a beauty, and although she couldn't count as a beauty that could cause the collapse of a nation, her figure and grand air were enough to infatuate men. However, her innate arrogance made others uncomfortable around her. In comparison, the Pill Fairy was far more beautiful and didn't possess any arrogance. She was warm and friendly. That was something that made others respect her naturally. What people revered wasn't her position or her beauty, but that noble moral character. There was no way to compare the two. Even if Dan Yangsu's looks could surpass the Pill Fairies, she couldn't learn the Pill Fairies' noble bearing. That was an inner quality. While others also felt Dan Yangsu to be a beauty, now that the Pill Fairy was also present, she lost her luster. Although Dan Yangsu did her best to conceal her jealousy, Long Chen easily saw through her act. Big brother, be careful. I heard others will make things hard on you. Wan Qing stood by the Pill Fairy's side. She shyly spoke to Long Chen, seeming afraid. Due to the scuffle in the inner sect, she was now afraid of Jiang Zijin. Jiang Zijin's expression sank, and he glared at her, causing her to immediately hide behind the Pill Fairy. Long Chen walked over and gently rubbed her head. He was smiling. Don't worry. Didn't I tell you that I'm a descendant of the Grand Warriors of the Starry Sky? My power is limitless. These fellows that want to target me are all trash. I can kill them with just a fart. Big brother, you're just bragging. I don't believe you, laughed Wan Ching. The Pill Fairy couldn't help but shake her head. Long San truly dared to say anything. Although his way of speaking was a bit crude, his unrestrained character made him feel easier to get close to. Jiang Zijin's expression immediately sank upon hearing Wan King's laughter. Long San was looking down on them. One of the Divine Shield Alliance's disciples lost his temper and pointed at Long Chen, cursing, Long San, you, pow. Long Chen swung his hand and slapped him in the face. Do you think the name Long San is something you can say? Call me Master Long, declared Long Chen. However, as soon as he slapped him, he regretted it. Long Chen had forgotten that he had reached the great circle of foundation forging. His cultivation base had advanced by an immense amount. Although he hadn't used his spiritual yuan to support his slap, the pure power of his physical body had risen greatly. With just his lightest force, that disciples had almost exploded. Fortunately, the disciples' pill flame had automatically protected him when he had sensed the danger. Otherwise, this slap would have killed him. His head was deformed, looking almost like a cracked egg. He hastily used his heavenly Tao energy to heal and consumed a medicinal pill. Although he quickly recovered, that didn't change the fact that he had almost died just now. Long Chen's slap had replaced his fury with terror. Long San, you're courting death, roared Jiang Zijin. I've been courting death for a long time, but no one has managed to kill me. As for you, you're not even fit to try snorted Long Chen. Long San, be careful in the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Jiang Zijin will definitely try to kill you inside. Although he's not a pure flame cultivator, he can use the pressure of a rank 9 celestial and the power of his earth flame. You aren't his match, warned the Pill Fairy through a spiritual message. Yes, I understand. I won't do anything stupid, responded Long Chen in the same manner, with the curse afflicting his body. Not even the Pill Fairy could sense his true power. All she could sense was his powerful spiritual strength and his powerful body. However, just those two points were not enough. His Earth Flame was ranked outside the top 30. He would definitely be suppressed by Jiang Zijin. I'll transmit the location of the Nirvana Scripture's original tablet, as well as a detailed map of the Heaven Dragon Flame region, to you, said the Pill Fairy. An image suddenly appeared in Long Chen's mind. It was a map marked with the position of the Nirvana scripture. Thank you. I'll remember this favor. Long Chen was truly grateful. The Pill Fairy had helped him out immensely. It had to be known that this opening of the Heaven Dragon Flame region was for disciples to test their luck. Pill Valley didn't offer the disciples maps. 
The two of them were communicating with spiritual messages. From the outside, it looked like they were staring deeply into each other's eyes. Suddenly, the sound of countless hearts shattering rang out. Even Kong Dongzi's gaze turned a bit cold. Within Pill Valley, every male disciple worshipped the Pill Fairy. Thus, for her to express special treatment to Long Chen made them almost go insane with jealousy. However, Kong Dongzi's lips then curled. He noticed a certain person looking like he was about to explode. Yes, it was Jiang Zijin. Don't just look at that woman. Remember, you're in charge of looking after Jiang Zijin in the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Don't let him slaughter Long San right at the beginning. If that happened, our plans would just be a huge joke. Warned Dan Yangsu. I know. It'll be no problem. Kong Dongs nodded. He didn't need this reminder. Don't forget to arrange for the others. Continued Dan Yangsu. It has been arranged. Once they enter the Heaven Dragon Flame region, they'll find their own targets. It'll be easy for them to take Long San's face and kill their targets. Dan Yangsu nodded. She no longer said anything in case anyone noticed. Just at this moment, another group of disciples walked over, and Long Chen was slightly startled. These disciples were powerful. They had intense flame fluctuations coming off of them. Furthermore, they emitted a battle aura that the Divine Pill Hall's disciples didn't possess. These were flame cultivators that had seen a true bloody battlefield. The majority of them were in the Jade Core Realm and they had extremely powerful auras. Their leader was a large man, with his sideburns and bronze eyes. He looked very ferocious. However, he seemed tired, like he had just rushed over from the outside world. In fact, many of these people looked as travel-weary as him. They had clearly rushed over from some place outside Pill Valley, returning specifically for the Heaven Dragon Flame region. The opening of the Heaven Dragon Flame region was a benefit that Pill Valley gave its disciples. It had Earth Flame Spirit Beasts that they could subdue. As for what kind of Earth Flame they got, it would be up to their luck and power. The top 20 Earth Flames could not be exchanged with merit points inside Pill Valley. If a disciple wanted such a thing, they would need to find it themselves. Usually in the Heaven Dragon Flame region, even Kondongs, Dan Yangsu, and Jiang Zijin were using flames outside the top 20 of Earth Flames ranking. A portion of these people had entered the Heaven Dragon Flame region before, but their luck hadn't been good and they hadn't gained any suitable Earth Flames. It had to be known that Earth Flames that were too powerful weren't existences they could subdue. Instead, there was the danger of them dying. According to Pill Valley's rules, Jade Core Disciples and below had three chances to enter the Heaven Dragon Flame region. If they didn't obtain anything in those three attempts, it could only be said that they had no destiny with the Heaven Dragon Flame region. In the future, they probably wouldn't have much more room for growth if they couldn't find a powerful Earth Flame, and so Pill Valley might just abandon them. The Pill Fairy was naturally an exception. She possessed an innate Divine Flame and didn't need to subdue Earth Flames. So she wasn't entering the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Are you the Pill Fairy? I am Kodajiang. Well met. The large man cupped his fists to the pill fairy. His voice was like a roaring flood. Long Chen's heart shook. Based on this person's aura, he probably also specialized in power. He hadn't expected there to be a flame cultivator with such a powerful physical body. Senior apprentice brother was too courteous, responded the pill fairy. The pill fairy felt like she had heard his name before, but she couldn't remember. After greeting the pill fairy, Kodajiang didn't say anything else. He found a place to close his eyes and rest. The atmosphere became a bit strange. It was like there was an undercurrent flowing within the air, making it hard for them to breathe. Just at this moment, the transportation formation lit up, forming a large barrier. Powerful spatial fluctuations came from within the barrier. The Heaven Dragon Flame region was its own minor world. It wasn't within the Martial Heaven continent. To reach it, they had to go through this transportation formation. Let's go. Kondongs let his people in. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Long Chen waved to the pill fairy and Wan Ching, clenching his fist to express victory to them as he hastily followed Kondongs and Dan Yangsu. They had only just stepped into the transportation formation when the world spun around them. Long Chen felt like he had entered a stove. Waves of heat assaulted him. 
An ordinary person would ignite just from breathing here. Even he had to circulate his flame energy to protect himself. Otherwise, his robes would be incinerated. When the world stopped spinning, he saw a sea of lava. In the distance were high mountains. Yet they also didn't seem like mountains. Instead, they were like islands rolling on the lava. Everything here was filled with dense flame energy. Long San, hurry and go, said Kondongs. Don't think you can order me around. I'll leave whenever I want, sneered Long Chen. He crushed a teleportation talisman and instantly disappeared from their sight. Chapter 1358 Scarlet Blood Heart Flame Translator Born to be there's no saving this bastard. Kondongs couldn't help being infuriated as he looked at where Long Chen had just been. Don't care so much about a dead person. They've also come. So as long as you keep watch of Jiang Zijin, there definitely won't be any problems. Everyone else has their jobs as well, said Dan Yangsu. The reason Dan Yangsu had rushed in here ahead of the Divine Shield Alliance's disciples was for Long Chen to be teleported away before them. That was to avoid Jiang Zijin targeting him. With the Divine Shield Alliance's disciples also entering, everyone began to scatter, all of them searching for their own opportunities. All right, the game of cat and mouse has begun. Remember, when you find Long San, release the signal. I want to make him live a life worse than death, shouted Jiang Zijin to the people beside him. By the time Jiang Zijin entered, Dan Yangsu and the others had already rushed away. He knew that Dan Yangsu and the others wouldn't just watch as he killed Long San so easily. So he decided to let them take this early lead so they could start this game of cat and mouse. Yes, all the Divine Shield Alliance's disciples scattered. They had even more people than the Divine Spear Alliance. And their chances of running into Long Chen were greater. Especially with them having been given the order to hunt down Long Chen as their top priority. As for looking for Earth Flames. That could be done slowly. In any case, the Heaven Dragon Flame region would be open for a month. Although it was huge, and a month's time wasn't even close to being enough to reach its edge, they all started from the same spot. For this many people to look for one person instead of Earth Flames made it very easy for them to stumble into either of them. Just at this moment, the large Ku Jiang also entered. Brother Ku, if you encounter Long San, I hope you won't kill him immediately. I have even better ways to handle him and make him feel just how luxurious death is, said Jiang Zijin. That's up to Long San's luck. When I attack, my aim is to kill. But I am interested in this suggestion. Goodbye. Hu Jiang was indifferent. Flames erupted out of him, and a pair of flame wings appeared on his back. He rushed off like a shooting star. The Flame Divine Palace's disciples entered the Heaven Dragon Flame region all of them excitedly rushing off to find their own opportunities. On the other side of the transportation formation, the pill fairy was slowly walking away when she paused and looked back. She suddenly recalled where she had heard the name Kudajiang. Big sister, what is it? Asked Wan Ching. It's nothing. Let's go back. The pill fairy shook her head and led Wan Ching away, but worry still lingered on her face. It was no wonder she had felt Kudajiang to be familiar. He was Ku Chuncheng's half-brother. One of them walked the path of the alchemist, while one walked the path of a flame cultivator. And even amongst flame cultivators, Ku Jiang was extremely terrifying. He was a rank 9 celestial. Long Chen had slain his brother, Ku Chuncheng, and now Ku Jiang had entered the Heaven Dragon Flame region. His goal was obvious. However, they had already entered, and it was impossible for her to stop them. The only one Long San could rely on was himself. Space shook, and Long Chen appeared at up a mountain, which composed entirely of rock. The mountain had some faint crevices in an almost honeycomb-like fashion. This was the result of the flame energy constantly washing over it. A burning smell still lingered in the air. Looking out from this high mountain, he saw a sea of lava around him. Well, it was more like a swamp of lava but he couldn't see far because the heat caused space to twist, cutting his effective visual range to about 10 miles. For me to be able to teleport within such an unstable space, Pill Valley really cares about me, Long Chen chortled. That ancient teleportation talisman he had just used was an absolute treasure. The talisman cultivators of today couldn't possibly create such a talisman. 
In order to allow Long Chen to get a head start, Pill Valley had given him such a precious talisman that showed just how highly they viewed him. I shouldn't be in a rush to get to the original tablet. I have to subdue some earth flames first. Those bastards all have stronger earth flames than mine. It'd be troublesome to run into them as I am now. Long Chen looked at his surroundings and then checked with the map the pill fairy had given him. He realized that he was just a thousand miles from the transportation point. What the? Didn't that say it could send me up to 10,000 miles away? TCH. It's definitely my bad luck again. Long Chen extended a hand, and Huo Long appeared. He jumped onto Huo Long's back and they rushed off. Huo Long, share your line of sight with me. Through Huo Long's senses, Long Chen was able to see even further within this fiery space. Within the Heaven Dragon Flame region, his sight and spiritual strength were suppressed. But Huo Long was like a fish in water here. If he hadn't told Huo Long not to cause a disturbance, it'd probably be roaring excitedly Novaloon.com The air was filled with dense flame energy which was the best nourishment to Huo Long. It was like dense spiritual chi to cultivators. Long Chen rushed off with Huo Long for six hours. Within the Heaven Dragon Flame region, Huo Long's speed was extremely terrifying. They had traveled a great distance. Yet when he checked the map, he found that this great distance was absolutely nothing compared to the Heaven Dragon Flame region as a whole. They were in the midst of traveling when a roar came from below them. A huge figure charged out at Huo Long. It was an earth flame spirit beast in the shape of a flame python. It emitted a powerful pressure. Huo Long, don't stand on courtesy. Eat it. Long Chen laughed. This was a feast for Huo Long. Huo Long, who had originally kept its size to just 300 meters long, suddenly grew explosively. Previously, Long Chen had told it to conceal its aura so it wouldn't be so easily sensed. But now was the time to start drawing the attention of the earth flames. The flame python's size was less than a tenth of Huo Long's 30,000 meters. It was instantly devoured. Huo Long's body suddenly flashed as it instantly absorbed all its energy. Its aura also increased in power. That earth flame spirit beast probably wasn't ranked very high. Furthermore, it wasn't fully matured. Huo Long, let's continue eating. Long Chen and Huo Long continued. With Huo Long no longer needing to conceal its aura, it began to run rampant throughout this region, seeking to draw more earth flames. Oh, we've been noticed perhaps it had been drawn over by Huo Long's provocation, but a terrifying aura suddenly began to rush over to their location. A huge flame leopard suddenly leaped out of the twisting space. It was as large as a mountain, and the pressure coming from it made Long Chen's heart shake. This flame leopard had copper coin-like patterns all over its body. Each one of those copper coins had a blood-colored flower at the center. Ranked 19th on the Earth Flame Rankings, the Scarlet Blood Heart Flame. This was a treasure that delighted Long Chen. He hadn't expected to be so lucky as to run into a top 20 Earth Flame so quickly. The flame leopard charged forward like a violent magical beast. Its fur bristling. It sent a claw at Huo Long. While Huo Long met it head on. As a result, Huo Long was blown apart into runes by the claw. Huo Long was unable to even bear a single attack from the flame leopard. This fact shocked Long Chen. It had to be known that during this time, Huo Long had been absorbing a huge amount of earth flame essence. Its power had risen greatly, and yet this flame leopard still outclassed it. It was truly worthy of being ranked 19th on the earth flame ranking. A fierce row rang out as Huo Long condensed again. It attacked the flame leopard. Fierce collisions shook the world. This was the most primitive kind of battle. There was no technique as they simply collided again and again. Huo Long's technique and flexibility were definitely a hundred times better than this flame leopard. But the difference in flame energy was too great for it to take advantage of that. In just a moment, it was torn in two by the flame leopard. After reforming. Huo Long's power dropped slightly, and it let out a furious roar. It was powerless against the flame leopard. Huo Long, don't panic. Stall it. Long Chen had been closely absorbing the flame leopard. This natural existence was truly powerful. Ordinary Jade Core experts would be unable to even approach it before being incinerated. It wasn't that Huo Long wasn't strong, but that this fellow was too terrifying. However, 
Natural existences formed by the heavens always had a fatal weakness. They didn't have brains. Long Chen formed hand seals and began to chant. Countless flame runes crazily gathered at an unprecedented rate. This is. Long Chen was shocked. The Nirvana scripture was many times stronger here than in the outside world. Practically, all the flame energy suddenly became like obedient housepits rushing over to assist him. He was surprised, but he didn't bother with that for now. Huo Long was already starting to break apart again. Flame chains condensed in the air, each one of them several meters thick. They came from every direction, surrounding the flame leopard. Pill Valley's flame arts are truly powerful. Long Chen was delighted, sensing the power of these flame chains. Long Chen profoundly experienced the terror of Pill Valley, Heaven Earth Prison. These chains suddenly became like millions of serpents, forming a huge cage that enveloped both the flame leopard and Huo Long. Huo Long immediately vanished as Long Chen called it back. The cage now tightened around the flame leopard, twisting flame death blow. Chapter 1359 Devouring an Earth Flame Spirit Beast Translator Born to be the flame cage tightened around the flame leopard. It struggled intensely, causing the cage to constantly quiver. This cage was an extremely powerful technique he had learned in Pill Valley. It was much more complicated than the raging flame prison he had previously learned, and it was also much more terrifying. Although the cast time was a bit long, it was the best technique to use against a mindless earth flame spirit beast. While he had been accumulating power, the earth flame spirit beast hadn't even known that it should be running. It crazily struggled. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that it was making this powerful cage shudder intensely. This earth flame spirit beast is actually so powerful. Long Chen was shocked. Its power was greater than what he had estimated. His twisting flame death blow was unable to instantly kill it. However, the flame cage continued to shrink. Although it was unable to kill it, the earth flame spirit beast couldn't budge. No, it's not that the cage isn't strong enough but that their energy comes from the same source. Whether it was Huo Long or the energy he had gathered with the Nirvana scripture, they were all flame energy. Using flame energy to attack an earth flame spirit beast would naturally have less effect than normal. This was also why fights between flame cultivators were so boring. Their power came from the same source. So unless there was a large power disparity, it would turn into a battle of attrition. Flame cultivators in the same realm might fight for several days without determining a winner. In the end, it depended on whose spiritual yuan and soul energy was greater. That was why no one was interested in watching flame cultivators fight. Now Long Chen was in a deadlock against this earth flame spirit beast. He was unable to kill it, but it was unable to escape his cage. Huo Long, come out and eat it, said Long Chen. Huo Long flew out of Long Chen's arm and bit down on the flame leopard. Flames danced as it tore off a chunk of it. This meat was actually the flame leopard's purest flame runes. It crazily struggled and roared, but the cage bound it, making it so it couldn't even move, let alone strike back at Huo Long. Seeing this, Huo Long continued to take large bites out of it. As it consumed its energy, Huo Long's aura grew stronger, while the flame leopard began to shrink and dim. After a while, Huo Long was no longer able to continue eating more of its energy. It needed a bit of time to digest it. At this moment, it was possible to see the difference between them. Huo Long had to rest seven times before fully devouring it. After devouring it, Huo Long's aura had completely transformed. Flames constantly erupted from it, making one impossible to see its body. Long Chen knew this was the result of Huo Long not being able to control its new power. It needed some time to get accustomed to it. Oh, people arrived this quickly. Long Chen suddenly looked into the distance. Intense fluctuations were coming from there. He knew that most likely, someone else was subduing an earth flame spirit beast. Long Chen wanted to take a look. Putting away Huo Long, he rushed over. After just a bit, the fluctuations grew clearer. He quickly saw several figures fighting an earth flame spirit beast. It was a scorpion-like beast. Because they were too far, Long Chen wasn't able to see its unique attributes. So he couldn't tell what earth flame it was. However, just from the fluctuations, he knew that its ranking wouldn't be too low. It was at least much stronger than the berserk blood flame he had consumed. 
Its ranking looked to be around 26 or 27. Looking toward the three disciples, he was startled by the coincidence. They were all disciples from the Divine Shield Alliance. Two of them were on the list of people he was supposed to kill. They were Foundation Forging Disciples, while the third one was a Jade Core Expert. The Jade Core Expert was a Rank 8 Celestial. The three of them were continuously forming Hand Seals gravely. A Blood Red Rune was revolving around the Jade Core Disciples for it, and Blood Chains were flying out at the Earth Flame Spirit Beast. The Earth Flame Spirit Beast was currently fighting against countless Flame Chains, which had traces of blood within it. The Earth Flame Spirit Beast was struggling so fiercely that it looked like the chains would break at any moment. The three of them were extremely nervous. Capturing such a powerful Earth Flame Spirit Beast was extremely dangerous for them. Therefore, they were completely focused on using their spiritual strength to seal this Earth Flame Spirit Beast. If they failed and it broke their seal, their souls would be permanently damaged. Long Chen could see that it was the Rank 8 Celestial that was intent on subduing it. The other two were just helping. The true power was coming from the Rank 8 Celestial. His manifestation was activated behind him, and his spirit blood had condensed in the chains. His face was pale. Capturing such a powerful Earth Flame Spirit Beast was not easy for him, and he needed to pay a huge price. The majority of his spirit blood had already been exhausted. However, as long as he succeeded in capturing it, it would be worth it. Spirit blood could be slowly recovered, but such a powerful earth flame was priceless to an alchemist. Although Pill Valley also had earth flames of this ranking, they were just earth flame seeds. Their power couldn't compare to these earth flame spirit beasts. If he could refine this earth flame spirit beast into an earth flame seed, it would be many times stronger than an ordinary earth flame seed. It had to be known that for alchemists, the slightest difference in the power of their earth flames could benefit them immensely. The disciples who had entered the Heaven Dragon Flame region all came prepared. They had powerful sealing arts that could be backed by the spirit blood to capture the earth flames. This kind of sealing art wouldn't make the earth flame spirit beast feel endangered. Instead, it would feel very comfortable. Then it wouldn't resist so fiercely. As the rank 8 celestial poured in his spirit blood, the earth flame spirit beast struggling weakened. Chains of spirit blood spread like a net, wrapping over the earth flame spirit beast in multiple layers. Now it looked like it had fallen into a slumber. Ha ha ha. Success. The rank 8 celestial was pale and exhausted, but he was ecstatic. He only had time for one cheer of success before a flame spear suddenly pierced through his head from behind, destroying his body and soul. Long Chen was hidden and watching, and he had long since noticed a figure stealthily approaching, with the three of them focused on the Earth Flame Spirit Beast. They hadn't sensed this danger. As a result, when their nerves relaxed after sealing the Earth Flame Spirit Beast, the Rank 8 Celestial was slain. Who's there? The other two disciples were shocked. They hadn't been expecting a sudden sneak attack. Furthermore, their opponent had killed one of them mercilessly. This earth flame spirit beast belongs to me, Master Long San. You two ants aren't worth killing. Scram. The sneak attacker suddenly took off his mask, revealing Long San. Those two disciples were horrified. Go back and report to that idiot Jiang Zijin that he should wash his neck. I'll be taking his head soon. That Long San sneered at the two of them disdainfully. The distant Long Chen stared in shock, but he quickly realized that this was an attempt to frame him. It seemed that they had been given orders to kill other disciples while impersonating him. In any case, when the time came, all those people's deaths would be pushed onto him. Those two disciples were terrified. Suddenly, one of them took out a sphere. That Long San immediately stabbed his flame spear forward, destroying his arm. The sphere landed in Long San's hand, and he sneered. You want to summon reinforcements? Truly courting death. Since you want to die. I'll help you out. That Long San suddenly let go of his spear. Flame soared into the sky, and a sea of runes appeared behind him. He was also a rank 8 celestial. Those disciples looked at each other in dismay. Clenching their teeth, they shot off in different directions. HMPH. Crafty. Snorted Long San. He didn't chase. Instead, he walked toward the sealed earth flame spirit beast. 
The earth flame spirit beast was bound in layers of flame chains that were like a cocoon. There were multiple layers of blood-colored runes amongst them. Seeing it, Long San smiled. This was quite a large side benefit. Long San had just reached out to pull it into his spiritual space when it vanished. Suddenly, a figure appeared in front of Long San. Long San. Long Chen looked at this incomparably shocked fellow. He sneered. Your disguise isn't bad. So, tell me, what do you think you're doing? Chapter 1360 Heaven Incinerating Flame Translator Born to be Long San. Hand over the Earth Flame Spirit Beast. That's my battle spoil. The other Long San quickly recovered from his shock. You still haven't answered me. Why are you pretending to be me? Asked Long Chen indifferently. This is my mission. I'm helping you draw away your enemies. If you're not grateful, then fine. But don't you think taking my battle spoils is going overboard? The crafty light behind his feigned anger was unable to escape Long Chen. He suddenly sighed and smiled. So that's what it was. Sorry, I misjudged you. Here, take the Earth Flame Spirit Beast. As an apology, please take this insignificant little gift as well. Long Chen tossed a certain thing at this person. That person was still on guard, but he immediately turned pale upon seeing what it was. What Long Chen had tossed out was a tiny flame dragon. When it came flying out of his arm, it was just a foot long, but a terrifying pressure came from it. Bastard, you dare to scheme against me. That person hastily formed hand seals, summoning ten flame walls in front of him as he retreated. However, it didn't have any use. Huo Long devoured the flame walls in one gulp. It then lunged forward and swallowed him as well. As soon as he entered Huo Long's stomach, he was incinerated into nothing. He didn't even have the power to struggle. Huo Long returned to Long Chen's arm. He smiled. So I was right. These people never had any intentions of letting me live to come out of the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Huo Long had devoured that person along with his soul. As Long Chen was connected with Huo Long, Checking his memories as he died like this was easy. Dan Yangsu had ordered several powerful disciples of the Divine Spear Alliance to disguise themselves as Long San and slaughter the Divine Shield Alliance's core. Then they would blame Long San. They truly were vicious. They had raised his power in order to prove that he had the power to kill those people. So whether they were killed by him or not, the blame would fall on him. This plot wasn't bad. Long Chen thought about it for a moment. He found that the situation was growing more and more unfavorable for him. He had to think of something, or even if he could leave the Heaven Dragon Flame region, he would be executed in Pill Valley. Fuck, I can only take it step by step. I don't have the time to scheme against them, but this thing might be useful. Long Chen picked up the sphere the disciple had dropped. No longer tarrying, he began rushing off to the spot the Pill Fairy had marked. This time, he didn't summon Huo Long. Huo Long was busy digesting the energy of the sealed earth flame spirit beast. It was extremely beneficial to it. As it digested its energy, Long Chen rushed onward. On the way, he encountered several earth flame spirit beasts that weren't very powerful. They were all treated as snacks for Huo Long. In three days, he finally left the lava swamp. A huge mountain range had appeared, with the mountains stretched far into the distance. The curious thing was that there was mud on this ground. It wasn't chaired, and the rocks were like crystal and jade. It was like this place wasn't affected by the flames. For some unknown reason, when he stepped onto this landmass, Long Chen felt a familiar and intimate feeling. Continuing onward, Long Chen suddenly sensed danger and hastily retreated. The ground split apart and a golden phoenix bird flew out. It opened its mouth, spurting a wave of flames at Long Chen. Long Chen's hair stood on end. These golden flames gave him a feeling of mortal danger. He would definitely be turned into roast pork if struck. Long Chen summoned Huo Long to block it. But shockingly, Huo Long let out a heaven-shaking roar as it was incinerated by the golden flames. Flames can catch fire. Long Chen was shocked. That golden flame possessed the power to incinerate anything. Could it be the existence ranked third on the earth flame ranking? The heaven incinerating flame? It was said that the heaven incinerating flame was capable of burning anything. Metal, wood, water, fire, earth. All the five elements could be ignited. It was the only flame that was not suppressed by water. 
and all flame cultivators longed to obtain it. Flame cultivators were incredibly powerful. They had stamina and power, but they also had a fatal weakness. That was water element cultivators. Water cultivators were the bane of flame cultivators. In the same realm, they would definitely be defeated. In fact, water cultivators might even defeat flame cultivators across realms. That was why flame cultivators would normally have other cultivators by their side, to guard against water cultivators. However, there were always exceptions. This heaven incinerating flame could burn anything and was not afraid of water energy. It was an unrivaled flame. Yet, the heaven incinerating flame was said to exist only in legend. At the very least, Long Chen had never heard of the heaven incinerating flame appearing in the world. He hadn't expected to run into it in the heaven dragon flame region. Huo Long roared and charged at the heaven incinerating flame, which had taken the form of a legendary golden phoenix. Its body was only 300 meters long, but it possessed overwhelming power. It charged forward, blowing a hole in Huo Long. This injury continued to burn even after it passed. The heaven incinerating flame was too terrifying. Wherever it went, it would ignite anything. In just a few breaths time, Huo Long's aura dropped by a great deal. It wasn't a match for the heaven incinerating flame. The difference between the two sides was too immense. The thing that shocked Long Chen the most was that the phoenix was still so small, meaning it clearly had only been born not long ago. It hadn't fully matured, but still possessed such power. Long Chen formed hand seals and activated the Nirvana scripture, Heaven Earth Prison. The Heaven Earth Prison instantly enveloped the Golden Phoenix, but it was actually being incinerated, and his spiritual strength rapidly dropped. At this rate, his spiritual strength wouldn't even last an incense stick's worth of time. No good. There's no way to subdue this fellow. Huo Long, we're leaving, shouted Long Chen. He called Huo Long back into his body, and only then did the golden flames stop burning it. Huo Long's power had dropped by more than half in just this moment. The phoenix let out a cry and shot at Long Chen. Do you really think your master Long is afraid of you? Long Chen was enraged. Seeing Huo Long in such a miserable state aggrieved him. A cauldron appeared in the air, and Long Chen smashed it into the phoenix. Boom. The golden phoenix was smashed away, but Long Chen's arms received a backlash, and his hands began to bleed. Fuck. Long Chen was enraged. This injury wasn't from the phoenix, but the result of him using his own power, which he was no longer able to control. He had so much power but was unable to use it. He was immensely irritated. The phoenix seemed to also be enraged by Long Chen, and it once more shot at him. Damn it. I refuse to believe I can't subdue you. Be refined Long Chen roared furiously, and the blazing dragon cauldron opened and grew larger. The phoenix was captured within. Seal. Long Chen's spiritual strength poured into the blazing dragon cauldron as he controlled it to refine the phoenix. However, Long Chen was shocked to find that this ancestral cauldron was becoming red, and then dark red as it became burning hot. The item spirit's cry rang out in Long Chen's mind. It was unable to block the phoenix's power. If this continued, its core runes would be incinerated. Why is it like this? Long Chen sighed helplessly. Even an ancestral item was unable to refine the phoenix. Although it still wasn't fully healed, it hadn't even managed to last a few breaths. Sensing its urgency, Long Chen had no choice but to open its lid and allow the golden phoenix to fly out. As soon as it was released, it became berserk. The sky began to burn, and space began to twist and collapse. It was like the apocalypse. Fuck. Fine. I'm afraid of you. Okay. I can't provoke you, but can it be that I can't even run? Long Chen immediately turned and fled. The phoenix was infuriated and refused to let him off. It charged after him like a shooting star, and its speed was even greater than his own. What the fuck is this luck? Long Chen spat on the ground viciously. He had managed to encounter a legendary existence, and yet he was unable to beat it, and now he couldn't even run from it. With the phoenix rapidly getting closer, Long Chen flipped through the primal chaos space to see if he had any trump cards he could use. Right, I still have this. Long Chen's eyes suddenly lit up as he smashed a pitch black object behind him. Fuck off. 